Welcome, 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 Motor Ride Bicycle Enthusiast. Uh, my name is Jared, and this is our little hangout. Glad to see you, folks. Good evening, Mike Miller. I'm so glad that you would show up right on time. We'll give it a second. We'll let a few folks show in and uh, get this live started. Damn, I'm stuffy in this room. Let me go turn that air on. I'll turn it up. Good evening. Good evening. Cush in the bush. <laughs> Live from the hotel. ERT drone days. Guess the banjo guys didn't get you last night. Now the banjo guys went ahead and let me go. <sighs> Are we there yet? <laughs> I like those right like guys like the fourth time you done it. Are we there yet? Huh. Well, good evening. Good evening. Leonard and Rolla. All fancy and stuff. Yeah, here we are, guys. We're in the old uh, no tail motel eight. It's a bit of slum. It's, you know, it's a uh, shit. We got y'all live for a second. Let's see what it said. Uh, the vote for the stealth camping uh, alliance is up. Uh, on my community page. Hey guys, uh, everybody give a vote towards uh, Kush in the Bush. I mean, if you if you subscribe to him or watch his channel any, uh, vote on those little stealth camping alliances. Those guys like to win and those guys like to know who the winners are too. Just for, you know, just for in that way, you know. It ain't nothing that competitive. Not in those kind of competitive ways. Just uh, good old friends, mostly a bunch of rednecks. You know, hanging out together online, having a good time. I'm, I'm glad Chris came in here and uh, said, "Don't forget, it's time to vote." I think I, I, I think I voted on. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I clicked on it yet. I'm not gonna lie. Hashtag Stealth Camping Alliance. I know I've never joined really. Ah, Jared, how you like the purple bicycle? That's a nice bike, ERT. Eli's racing team is hitting with all cylinders, guys. He is pumping them out right now. Ninja Hudson. Hey, 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 what's up, brother? What's up, Ninja Hudson? Oh, it's not Ninja. It might be Ninja. I might be mistaken about that. I tried to get the other fucking their Wi-Fi password. What does it say? Huh? What was the goddamn Wi-Fi password? Fuck, I don't know. It was freaking pouring on me all the way up to the freaking door right here. Damn thing got soaked. 301, maybe? No. No, so I'm going to read them off the screen tonight. Well, guys, we have had a really, a really eventful uh, few days now. These past two days have been kicking my butt oh where's that other one at let me see what that's and uh is there somewhere else i can put it it's always a lighting problem in it yeah well fuck it good enough is good enough but now i can't see jack shit i wonder if there's a dark mode for this Power naps are uplifting, says a Leonard Arola. Except you're down when you're napping. I entered every friggin' number. <laughs> Obi Wanzilla! What's up, brother? He is in the house. Uh, everybody go check out OP1. He has been posting regular. He's uh he's got one right now where he's up on the levee and uh and looking over uh the old mare river. I can't, I can't, uh, I don't think he says anything in it, but he's got that cool, uh, Black Sabbath tune going on in the background, which really caught me. I'm like, oh yeah, that's cool, man. Right. by guy that looked on back and it literally said password. <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay. That's what my little brother did to me when he gave me something one time. He's like, it says password. Enter password. And I'm like, I don't know the fucking password. He said, enter fucking password. Oh, <laughs> I was too stupid for password. <laughs> that was too, too technical for me. Oh, man, I got hot just then. I ain't gonna lie, guys. I am fucking wiped out today. I have been in every kind of nasty weather out there from tornadoes to flooding rains to floods. I try to stand underneath an overpass for a couple of hours, but I only made it about an hour. Suffered my way through the pouring rain over to a uh, elderly, uh, what do you call it? Elderly uh, 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 assisted living facility and found a little nook and crevice in their building there and hid in there until uh, like 2.30, guys. Like 2.30 from 11 o'clock till 2.30 waiting for the freaking rain to break. And I mean, it was bad. Oh, Tony, come in. Where's Tony? I didn't see him pop in. Good evening, Tony. Did I miss him? Anthony Frog. Good evening, Tony. I'm so glad you're here. Hot dog, you got the energy to be watching us. I'm a proud of you. A hundred percent. You will pull through. Oh, I didn't say that. I'm sorry. Uh, weather been nasty. Yes, OP1, it has been very nasty on me. I didn't expect it to be quite so nasty. I will uh, give you all a quick little viewing of the, uh, the hotel room real quick. Just after the quick uh, safety meeting, because I am ready to get one. See, this is another one of those non-smoking motel rooms. You know, I gave an extra twenty dollars deposit, saying I wouldn't smoke. And uh, this was my weed tin that I brought this time. You know, a little bit of weed in there, but mostly it's from these fucking motels who don't offer an ashtray. I got a little weed tin. I got a goddamn ashtray at the same time. So. <laughs> I was telling my mom that. I was like, no, 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 I need a goddamn, I need an ashtray. Dave Stuff is in the house. Hey, guys, y'all. And Brian, who's it? Who's Brian? Uh, Brian Boring. Hey, Jared. On your cross US trip, did your 79C have the governor removed? No, that's right. I leave the governor completely on. I want the cruise control from the governor. I uh, leave the governor on and I use a click throttle, you know, a shifter throttle, click, 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 click. First click is like three or four. Second click is 10 or so, 15, 20, 25. Although I did notice that my clicks on this 20 inch wheel is uh, 22 and uh, 27, I think it was. So it is a little jacked up. And the next one down was like 18. So that on that 29 inch wheel, it was, it seemed like each click was five miles, even five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and then 30 just to hold it down. No, I did not remove the governor. Uh, I, if you watch the video, I, I don't do anything for the motor. I don't, I had nothing to do. Uh, the holes already drilled in the, in the fan, in the, uh, exhaust cowling. So you can pass your wire through there and hook it up to your throttle. I use a, uh, a regular throttle stop, you know, a cable stop, just one of those tightened down with an Allen key or tightened down with a Phillips screwdriver cable stop. Nothing particular. But I did have a major mechanical today, guys. I mean, fucking major mechanical. My derailleur hit the ground. Let me grab my derailleur. Is this supposed to be, is this supposed to be like this? Did it? I don't, I don't think they normally come off. Do you think they're supposed to come off? Yeah, well, look at that shit. Look at that. Fucking trash, dude. It's fucking garbage. Fucking garbage. That is a fucking major goddamn fucking mechanical issue in the middle of uh, Mount Pleasant. I like the name of the town, Mount Pleasant. Not good. Not good at all. Uh... But it turns out there is a Walmart at this particular, uh, <clears throat> at this, uh, this, this town right here, Super Walmart. So my worst case scenario is to cut the chain and remove the derailleur and uh, run it without a derailleur until I get to a, a big enough town to have a, uh, a bicycle shop. 
I did check here for a bicycle shop. No such luck. I've tried the Amazon order things and have them delivered during my trips. Very complicated. I'm not willing to try it this time. I just assume buy a whole nother bicycle from Walmart and slap slap all my rig on it than to fucking uh, order from fucking Bike Barry or Amazon while I'm out on the road. Last time I was sitting in Del Rio for five days waiting on parts. Five fucking days, dude. So not doing that again. Even, although I have rented this room for two nights. Think today was bad. Tomorrow is going to be the big storm. So I'm indoors. I'm fucking do it. I'm doing indoors. Uh, <laughs> uh, Throw it in my metal cup again. We're drinking the old nasty Milo's. I know, but whatever. It's all I had. Uh, that Dollar General is uh, right down the street, uh, right through the wall right there, and through the bushes, and the goddamn Dollar General. It's a bit of a woods. Uh, tell me she isn't in prison, Mike. What? What happened? That broke the... Okay, yeah, so Mike Miller, that didn't break the other day. The other day... I, my, uh, the ship cable broke, but now I don't believe the ship cable broke in that same way. I don't believe, I believe uh, something about the derailleur broke. I showed y'all that it was flopping. I, I, I put a washer on it, a cardboard washer. <laughs> don't tell Dave, but I used a cardboard washer. That didn't work out. You know, he probably would have told me he's like, oh, no, Jared, that shit ain't gonna work. Fucking <laughs> jacked up shit. Fuck, get the fuck out of here. Well, I did it. And that didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. I don't know what it had lost, but I, but I believe it was already broken, and that's why it was flopping. And I just didn't notice that it was broken, and it fixed the cable anyways. And, and that wasn't actually a fix because uh, when I left out of uh, Talco this morning, Talco, Texas, hadn't hadn't over here uh, that uh, it went. Uh, and how many miles did I do today, guys? I did 15 miles today. I got in 15 miles. It was the hardest fucking 15 miles of the whole fucking trip. It was a, dude, it was a harsh 15 miles. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. Oh, Christy, don't worry. I know everything's all soaking wet, you know. I'll just go down the side of the road. I don't want to have any problems. Bam, bam, bam. One fucking problem after the next. Big old fucking pit bull come running out there to fucking gnaw on me. But I was all ready angry. And I fucking stomped towards that dog. I turned that son of a bitch around in his track. He was like, <laughs> yeah, that's right, dude. You close this fucking distance with me. Come on. <laughs> I'm a dog guy. Fucking dog would have never known what happened to me. Like, oh! uh, but he wasn't as big as my dogs used to be, so I wouldn't. I don't know. I don't have any dog fears anymore. Just none. <laughs> I don't care how big a dog is. It ain't. I mean, it can be full on vicious, too. Though. I've had that fucking full on pit bull running, and mm, you gotta be careful of that. You gotta be careful. I mean, motherfucker won't even think he'll bite. So watch out for that. But other than that, I haven't had a single dog issue until today, you know. Most of the time, the dogs come out, dude, and they get, if it's a if it's a good, smart dog, he'll look up at me and judge that nah, ain't no chance of me making it out there. But other dogs just dumb as a fucking rock, and they will take off all bad out of hell from the front porch, try to cross that whole yard, try to get all the way to me, and end up in the fucking ditch 50 yards behind me by the time they get to me and that way um, yeah, they ain't got shit they ain't got shit <laughs> you better run faster puppy <laughs> good evening eric Tennant. all right uh, uh y'all don't forget check out eric Tennant. he's out on that bike in some videos right now uh he posted a sunrise uh time lapse he should have put the time lapse on the oh uh, Hey, so I did catch the eclipse yesterday, guys. I was in the right part of Texas to catch, was it a 98.9% a eclipse? 
I know it wasn't truly 100%, but it was 98.7 or 9. That's what the, that's what the lady came up and told me. Uh, at 147, it would be oh, at uh, 98.7. Percent uh, fully eclipsed. Skeptical force is in the house, guys. Hey, guys, he has been building more of his planes, and uh, the man is a whiz, it's like freaking Howard Hughes with them freaking model airplanes. Holy shit, dude! I was the damn thing flew for fucking two minutes or something. I know he's coming to get a crook in his neck staring at him because he damn sure couldn't find it with the camera very easy. <laughs> <laughs> uh been running conspiracy oh he said hey bry and then what do we have here been running conspiracy half link bicycle chains on my final drive for years running conspiracy half link bicycle chains on my final drive for years what does that mean on on the on on the drive side Bicycle chain work on that draft side? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think it does. 410. It has to. Uh, Skip was airborne for years. <laughs> he was airborne for years. He told me that. Yeah, he, he's just getting back into it again. for Because you know, we all get into little things on the side of the thing, you know, just to do things. I think he's probably about full retired already. So he probably got little hobbies here and there. Broke my chain. Uh oh. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Broke my chain today going up on a 45 degree plus dirt road. No kidding. The chain finally gave out, dude. So I had told everybody, especially from the uh the Jack Shaft kit for the China bikes. This was the only reason that I'd ever questioned on y'all's was the Jack Shaft kit from the China bikes. Their final drive chain was always uh, the weakest link, and three chains is one, two, three, four chains on a bicycle is probably a whole lot of chain. And uh, but uh, Dave just said running the half link, which probably is a much stronger chain. You know, a full half link chain. Who was that? Uh, the paratrooper guy who used to hang out with us. What's his damn name? se bike life uh u.s paratrooper was uh, a big promoter of the halfling chains also because they look so damn sharp up one zilla uh cecilia and uh good evening cecilia and i i see that you caught in time but i don't know if i said hello or not good evening everyone let's get in a quick safety meeting we had a cush show in here for a moment and uh ask everybody if you're as part of the stealth camping alliance and even if you're not go in and vote you know you don't have to be part of it to, to vote on it uh what else was there and don't forget kush is a motorized biker guys he takes that thing out on small adventures and posts them on youtube so uh, he is a very cool guy uh my mx's hybrid chains slow hybrids because read motors zero issues with that chain very good what do we have chain on easy fix as long as it doesn't kill the derailleur much easier than fixing a flat well uh, eric kennett i don't know if you've seen it or not but Here's my freaking derailleur. I mean, I took the wheel off so I could freaking get it off the bicycle. It doesn't, I guess the wheel being in my hand doesn't make any difference, but y'all can see the spot where it was mounted and that was peened. It was a peened on there, but you can see how twisted and bent it is. So that may have been my original problem. Although, why was it flopping? The whole mount flopping? I don't know. Take this plug out of you. Get that plug out. And I'll show it. I would just go ahead and show it. Oops, wonder if anybody can see anything. 
Where is it at? There's, there's my cardboard washer trying to attempt to see if there was any way of, uh, look at this. See, look at, look at how fucking floppity that motherfucker was. The big ass gap. <laughs> I found some washers on the ground while I was moving this way, hoping that, but then the whole fucking thing broke. So it's fucking trash to me now. Fucking trash. Well, I should have flipped that whole camera around on that. I don't know. I don't know why I did it that way. Who knows? <sighs> so, there we go. That's what happened to that. So, if I can't get me a derailleur inside of Mount Pleasant, Texas, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, uh, use a chain breaker and break a chain and just make it a single speed. If it'll accept a single speed, I, you know, if it'll accept the single speed, that's not always the thing. I was just looking at a DNS is two strokes build a uh, zip tie. And he was showing off his, uh, his chain tensioner on the dr on the uh, pedal drive side. And I was super jealous of it right at this minute. I'm like, yeah, that's exactly what I need right now. I wonder where I can get one of them locally. <laughs> so let me get a bowl here. So we're kicking. Jay Ray is in the house. That bug in the mouth was crazy. <laughs> oh, so I was I took some clothes off earlier at the fucking bathroom mirror and I'm all peeling them up and everything and taking them off, looking in the mirror. Got a tick on my belly. <laughs> Mama, I think I got the Lyme disease. <laughs> I think I'm tick proof though. I don't, I don't know. Probably not, but I'm tick proof. <sighs> Burnt his ass off with a cigarette lighter. Uh, how broke my leg. <laughs> what Eric say? Uh, bike shops are about the only place I know to get one up on the road. Yes. So I'm going to wait. Ha 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 ha. Yes, you huggers. <laughs> So what did y'all think about my my sleeping in the old bando mansion? Holy shit, that was a creepy fucking place, man. There were people out front. There was a big ass freaking cattle dog who just would not leave me alone, dude. And he was just over there barking and barking and barking and barking. And I'm like, dude, shh, come on now. I'm in here hiding. He's like, oh no, you ain't hiding from me, motherfucker. I smell you. What do we have this super sport rider i get a derailleur what do we have here uh get a derailleur that fits frame oh frame out our pro cable through loop in the frame and lock derailleur and one speed skip the shifter done i don't have the derailleur dude this this ain't derailing anything i know exactly what you're saying uh, I need a derailleur. You think I'm going to have to buy a goddamn fucking Walmart bike just to get one? I don't know. We're going to find that out tomorrow. I do know that uh, Walmart sells a chain breaker. So, and a master link in the, in the kit. So, at bare minimum, I'm break the chain. I'm going to run it. I run it as a single. And I don't really like master links. I usually drive the pin back in. I'm a, I'm a repin it kind of chain guy. Although on the road, I'm sure a master link is going to be a godsend. There we go. Uh, Jared, did you see the eyes shining behind you when you signed off in the burnt out store? Oh, 
Oh, I seen all kinds of shit in that building, dude. It was gnarly. Good evening, DNS Two Stroke. Good evening, Skips here. DNS OP One, Mike, Cecilia, just a whole crowd of guys. Hot dog. We're probably gonna keep this, keep this fun and entertaining as much as we can. What else was there? Uh, <clears throat> oh, so when that pit bull freaking ran at me. When I spun around, I freaking broke my bucket hanger. So I have to fix that tomorrow. Zero bicycle shops within 70 miles of me. Round trip. Yeah, I know. That's exactly what I was thinking, Dave. Zero here. I even called the Goodwill and uh, Safety and Caring was the, uh, was the other little thrift shot here. Thrift shopping. Nope, I called her up and she said, no, no, no. You might want to try Goodwill. I tried Goodwill and Goodwill said, uh, no, no, no. We didn't even hardly have any for Christmas. So, shit. Yeah. But the town did say 16,870, I think is what it said. I mean, it's a decent sized town. It's not, a, you know, it's got all the regular modern conveniences. 16,000 folks ain't no small amount. At home, I use Amazon uh, for bike parts. Yeah, Eric will. What would you do right now? Huh? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Derailer. So many of the other parts off the bike could be easily replaced, even from the Walmart repair little shop there. But the derailer. Oh. So here was my thought was to have Christy take one off at the house and overnight it to me. Because there's plenty of derailers at my freaking house. There's a bucket of them in the big silver box. Or she could just go take a functioning one off of a bicycle that's leaning up in the shed. XR2. It's 250, that, that XR2 Mung motherfucker. Same tourney, though. Both of them with that tourney derailleur. Uh, is it really a fucking Shimano tourney, though? I don't think so. <laughs> the upgrade would be the Altus, but, you know, I don't... <laughs> I don't want to wait. I'm crossing my fingers, guys. I don't know. I was thinking on the way, the way here. Here's the truth of it. I don't need the goddamn chain. I can just push it with my foot and it runs. But something about the chain not being connected really fucking bugs me. It just really fucking bugs me. I'm serious, guys. I just push my foot on the ground, one little push, and the bike is up and running. It, it doesn't actually need the fucking chain or the chain drive. But I'm, I'm just, I don't know what to say. You come to a stoplight or a stop sign, I don't want to be fucking push starting it every time. My old buddy Colby, though, he liked that. He he pushed start that son bitch every fucking time. Just so Flintstone push, two good little Flintstone pushes, and boom, there you are, you're running. Me, on the other hand, I don't know. I like to I like to pedal, goddamn it. I want to push the pedal down and the motor start. Kind of like a kick start now. You just push down on there you go, there's first gear. Yeah, you got you got a Push down on first gear, and then it just kicks in the, <laughs> in the drive. I haven't given up yet. It's still an adventure. We're still, this is day day seven. On day seven, already rented a room for two nights. Uh, I'm just short of the Oklahoma border. I'm, sh I'm further from the Oklahoma border, though, guys. I'm not going to lie, than I was yesterday. I made it 156 yesterday. And I went south. I went south 15 miles to get to these goddamn rooms, man. I'm not going to lie. I had till 11 o'clock this morning to make it or break it and get somewhere that was going to be dry. And it was uh, drizzling this morning on me. Right after I left out, I stopped by and got some corn dogs, uh, those jalapeno cheddar corn dogs. I was like, man, a little spicy. Let's get it going. Man. We didn't make it far. Fuck it, driving rain. 26 live. Oh, is that a lot? Uh oh. Lupomania 9000 bike. No, Lupomania 9000 bike burned. No kidding, Leonard. Cushion the Bush, what do you say? Have a good night, uh, everyone. Be safe out there. Brother, hope is you see you tomorrow, please. Peace. Thank you, Chris. I really appreciate that game. Uh, have a good day tomorrow at work. Oh, Cush in the bush drives a pumper truck, guys.
big ass fucking diesel pumper truck, concrete pumper, you know, boom arm pumper, concrete pumper. I'm not sure exactly what the name of it is. I've never worked that truck. I'm not going to lie. I've never worked the other end of that truck either. Although that truck was always on our job site. There's even bigger units of the standalone where the guy leaves that whole fucking rig behind and we built a goddamn concrete plant, you know, right next door on the property next door. That was back when we was building Portofino and uh, Pensacola Beach. They put the damn concrete plant right there. That was a five million dollar fucking property right there. Oh, and then you should have seen their fucking ridiculousness trying to save the fucking sea oats and the Alabama beach mouse. No beach mouse was saved, and all the oaks died. <laughs> and no 212 chopper. What do we got right here? I just put a Phantom. Oh, here we go. Phantom 85 on my bike, dude. They are no fucking joke. That thing hauls balls. <laughs> He's nuts. Fire. A <laughs> new world order. Uh, be right back. I need to test my phone. It's lagging. Sorry. Sorry, DNS. Give it a, give it all a reset. Woohoo! Minus one for electric. Minus one for gas. <laughs> Very good. Very good. I like that. That was he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bullshit. <laughs> I think I run for it. And check it out. Eric Tennant on his uh, trip before last or whatever. Whole fucking pedal fell off his bike. He only had one fucking pedal. He could hold his foot. <laughs> had to use the throttle. He does build a, he does build his electric bike with a fucking throttle. So yeah, he had to fucking same dude. I was doing that today, dude. I had that thing running with just, just, my feet on the pedal. They, no chain didn't do anything. I was just using the, them as a prop. Using the pedals as a prop. Uh oh, here we have Super Sportster. Electric is for dildos. <laughs> I didn't know they said that. And not the bike. Oh, I'm sure. Can find. Tons of e-bikes buyers. You can find tons of e-bike buyers. Yes, I'm not picking on e-bike though. I'm not. I, Eric was using it as an adventure machine. That's what that's what he's been using it for. Something to give him, like you know, cut out the reasons why he could say no to going. And he's been going. That is how I see the the motorized bike, and it was just to delete all the fucking my excuses. I don't care pedal anymore. No, I'm not fucking wearing a backpack anymore. I, I, okay, then I don't put a motor on it. You know, cheat, cheat, cheat. That's what happened when I first see the motorized bicycles. I'm like, oh, that's an adventure machine. We we can start having adventures with that thingy there. It's, that thing, uh, you know, I'm just a fucking weirdo. The same thing I thought when the first time I ever seen a kayak was, oh, we're going to have some fucking trips in this thingy. So I bought a tiny kayak. You know, what a dummy I was. Uh, here we go. Can always zip tie the chain up, sort of like a scooter. Yes, that's what I, that's ultimately what I did today. But I, just earlier, right there, dude, right at checkout. Eric Tennant's going to get a kick out of this one, you know, in that way. She's like, you got a motor on there? No. <laughs> I told that lady, no. He said, oh, okay. <sighs> I don't know if they would uh, fuck with you about your electric bike, but uh, I didn't want to find out in the middle of the fucking pouring rain that, well, you can't bring that in. So, shh. I did. I got a motor on it. Uh, I guess we can have a little more down, huh? All right, go a little more up and then down. Even better. Fucking dumbass. 
Yeah, I talk to too much when checking in. <laughs> That's something your wife said. Why the hell you offer all that information to them? That was my mom, man. She would fucking spill her guts to everybody she met every time. And me, I'm like, oh yeah, no, I you know, you know, a little trip and you know, here and there. And it's just because it's a raid and I need somewhere to stay. <laughs> Uh, yep. Uh, what do we have? Ride the bike guy says, uh, no, you don't, Eric. It's always good to read. Oh, to react to. Yeah. Have um, gas can, gas cars, motorcycles, bicycles, boats. Never had, had a fire. Have I had any of my shit burst into flames? Okay, I've never had a fire either, but I use a goddamn cell phone like it's like it's my own fucking part of my body and charge it up inside the house. And I got one, two, three, four, five, four batteries of devices charging right now. I have this extra device with me, but I fucking couldn't get on Wi-Fi. I don't think I don't think they fucking actually have Wi-Fi. That's what I think it was. Okay, because yeah, but it did say my code was rejected, but. It, that, that was on the administration, uh, super eight administration. I don't think that was the right code for administration on the public side there. They would not let me, uh, yeah, it was just circle in looking for IP address or something like that. Here we go. What do we have here? I've had my bike run run away like a diesel engine and the uh, CDI box caught fire. Ah, looky there, guys. That's a, that was a good one. This is a common way of, of actually having a fire aboard. Free bike batteries, oldest one of the four years, didn't have rebuilt it. No fires yet. No fires yet. Does she let you keep them in the house? Chris Christie said, well, if you get an electric bike, Jerry, you ain't keeping them goddamn batteries in my house. <laughs> I'm not going to sleep and waking up dead. Oh, here we go. Generally oil. Generally all the loose gas will burn off or evaporate. Yeah, pretty much. Too, too rapidly. It's a flash fire that runs out of fuel in a flash. Oh, they'll give you a little third degree burn, but in that way that no, gas likes to flash and move, uh, it's gone and it burns away. It's evaporating and burning at the same time and it's using up its fuel source super, super fast. That lithium has got a good way of, uh, I don't know, I've heard up to 45 minutes for those, you know, like the, the, uh, the scoot hover rounds and whatnot, you know, oh, damn thing kept going about 45 minutes. We had a video posted by one of the people in this, uh, in our, uh, or at least in my subscriptions, who uh, was out in front uh, in New York City there. I can't remember his name. Oh, well, what's his name? Uh, oh, we haven't been hanging out with him. He, had, he had stopped coming in. I haven't seen him, him post a video in a while, though. But he was uh, he was riding in, in New York there, and uh, he was standing out in front of that store. And, that, and that, that little Oriental guy goes over to it with a hammer and a screwdriver and starts perforating it trying to get it to hurry up. Uh, two guys went over there with fucking fire extinguishers, went at it. That didn't do anything. He kicked all that shit off of it, kept perforating it with a damn fucking uh, uh, screwdriver and a hammer. Crazy son of a bitch, dude. I swear I thought that guy was, I was like, ready for it to explode at any minute on his face, but he got away with it. I can't even pretend I can see. Mr. Take a time had to achieve when to do to to pay gas attendant said you didn't know truck on fire turned around sure enough live fire and try to extinguish it if she's out there holler and move my cheap fast <laughs> <Move> my jeep <laughs> good comment Stacy good comment Oh, here we go. Here we go. 
had a six fold uh say but on a trash and went out for dinner uh-huh well they're all gonna poke at this topic plus yeah, male plus 18650 equals torch. I think that's what he was going for. I think he was trying to get it to blow flames out the damn hole. That's exactly what I thought he was doing. Or most agents thought he was just trying to vent it, right? So it wasn't building pressure here, burn off and burn away. I think the gas, the, the fumes from it are also noxious. Lithium is a, uh, it's a nar it's not a narcotic, but it was a, it's a what is it? A, Mind alterer. What do you call that when uh, psychotropic? It's a psychotropic. I think it's called a psychotropic. Yes, lithium does does things to your brain, like a nitrogen and others. What about that? What about that? Huffing gas or huffing lithium? I mean, I I, I don't know. Somebody might tell me I might be wrong, <laughs> but huffing gas probably ain't good for you either. Had a nine volt battery catch on my chair on fire about killed me day before Christmas, 2016. Oh my God. Here we go. Here we go. Sorry guys. I'm back. If I missed anything, everyone comment by my bad phone was being stupid. I know I practically sound illiterate guys. I know I sound illiterate, but I was supposed to have my little phone here and been able to read comments easily, but fuck. Guess not. Can't win them all. Can't even try. Let's hit that bowl again and stop, stop lighting all them cigarettes. Oh, what did we got from Leonard here? It's a big comment. No electric for me until batteries are full graphene. Screw lithium. Full graphene, huh? Hmm. Graphene battery my whole life. I'm starting to think that it's not there. It's not going to get there. Material sciences just aren't moving quick enough. Uh, what about the, the, uh, the, the, the solid state salt battery? And that was the guy who invented the lithium ion battery said, oh, guys, right around the corner, I'm going to have the salt battery. You know, regular uh, table salt. No, no, never did fucking happen. Sodium, uh, what did we call it? Goddamn. <laughs> salt crystal. Skeptic forest distillation crystals. Uh-oh. Dilithium crystals. Yeah, dude. Elon. You know, Elon's going to go to Mars, chip us out some of the dead lithium crystals. <laughs> I think he's he's headed to Mars in like uh, 20 fucking never. I'm just saying. I mean, obviously, he, he said he's good at math and good at science, but obviously he can't do the fucking numbers to say never. Not in his lifetime, not in our lifetime. Uh. Anybody want to go? It's a one-way fucking trip to the most miserable prison on the in the universe that we would know of. It's five to six months aboard. Aboard. Although I will tell y'all this, dude. If y'all have watched any uh real crazy stuff, there is people who fucking float across the Atlantic Ocean damn near in a bathtub. So it's I've you know, some people have that. But even then, it's, yeah, it's three or four months. I mean, it'll take two to three months. One of my best, whatever. I read a bunch of those crazy stories. I was really into the reading old crazy sailor stories for a long time for big, you know, doing something big and adventurous. Well, get the, oh, oh, we could get true there, but not one billion. Oh, here we go. It doesn't such. Has, no, damn it, I can't see. Oh, 
So the lithium ion is has a higher uh, charge uh, cycle is what you were saying to me in that way that, you know, makes her more viable. I do know this, you know, for the longest time, they weren't going to let us have lithium ion because, you know, it's not okay for the planet. But they were like, fuck the planet, man. Burn, baby, burn. Get us some up out of that ground. And here we are today. And when they say they're going to give you something more energy dense, they're not going to give us anything any more energy dense. <laughs> they already have the material scientists for that. I was that's why I was poking at the graphene thing. They have material scientists for that. And you know, all the way up to plutonium. You're like, oh, that's right. There's a table of elements. I mean, we already know. This is, you know, we have them pretty well numbered out. All of them. And if there's something else in the universe, you can get yourself a fucking Nobel Prize for proving it. Although they do say the isotopes of, uh, of plutonium, though, way on down past mariconium and all that, one of them might be stable. I think in, in the hundreds, you know, was it, you know, whatever. Others uh, just a fucking goofy ass science. I'm not much for, for it anymore. I used to read it and listen to it and absorb that crap. I, I don't, I don't anymore. My old lady convinced me it was just bullshit. For real, <laughs> she convinced me. I got tired of arguing with her. Every fucking time I would argue with her, she, I'd end up classically fucking wrong. She would end up right. And I'm like, you know what? I am fighting an uphill fucking battle. Fuck that shit. Stay with a motorized bike, though. I mean, why ain't you got a motorcycle? I know. Let me tell you guys. When I was on Amazon, I, I checked for a motorcycle <laughs> <laughs> an enduro or a scooter i'm like well how hard would it be to get one of those here we can just keep this two-wheel adventure going just you know maybe <laughs> maybe on another conveyance and uh but uh right did not order that but i thought about it yeah a 250 enduro you know and something comfortable <laughs> 150 scoot uh 250 scooter that was just my other thought as well. But it's not a thing. I'm not about to ditch it. I'm still head, head over heels. Uh, what else was there? We've had a lot of great camp spikes, you know, are already. It, two, three of them were nice, and everybody else was pretty, pretty sketchy. I mean, I'm not going to lie. That was, that's, no, dude, come on. That is something. A little bit of living. Just a just a little bit of living. It's just a tiniest little taste. And, and, if, and if it wasn't for this right here, you know, I wouldn't fucking always ride dirty since I was 16 years old. I would do even more crazier shit. I ain't even gonna lie. It's purely because I'm always fucking riding dirty. I've been riding dirty ever. So, and here I am, still riding dirty. Okay, what I, I got a couple of... I had a couple of these full. Peek. I'll see what it looks like. Bom, 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 bom. <laughs> That's a big thing. So if I would have caught up with OP one Zilla, I'd have burnt his ass down, but I didn't catch him. Dude, I'm so mad at myself. I've been thinking about that goddamn day every fucking day since he said, yeah, man, I was sitting down there. Oh, 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 I can't even fucking believe because I looked at those parks there and I was like, Joe, why don't you go right around that park real quick just to, you know, just say you say you've seen it. Fuck no, I was an old train wreck for getting across Old Man River and uh, whatever. Because if I fooled around any longer, he'd have probably seen me. He'd have probably, oh, that motherfucker over there. <laughs> Let's get him. <laughs> Oh, that would have been a shit. So I'm, uh, oh, nice buds. I can smell them here. Yeah. I had two rolled on, on the weight. <laughs> two were waiting, motherfucker. Yeah, I know. I know. I know it. Damn it. I know. And Kevin Shop had, uh, 
had, had fully invited me. And I, you know, just because he invited me, I thought about doing the Southern tier again. Yeah. You just, and you, that, and, uh, and then I could have put like somebody like motorized Andrew or somebody on the way <laughs> in that way that there was a few other, there was Arizona, there was Aaron Tennant, you know, right through Phoenix. And I know I was, I, I don't know. But doing it, doing it a fourth time seems, I don't know, I wanted to go, I wanted to head in a new direction. I was ready for a new direction. Uh-oh. I'm sorry I'm having to highlight every comment. I can't read it without it fucking highlighting. Hey, Leo, miss you. Yo was blowing. Uh, Leo, Mr. Arola, he has been posting videos, guys. Uh, uh, Leonard Arola, have you been keeping up with... Uh, Antigua and Barbados, and UERT. Have you been keeping up with the Antigua and Barbados? He don't say much during his videos, but he's been real proud of his builds over there, in Puerto Rico. <laughs> no, not Puerto Rico. Antigua and Barbados. Why did I just say Puerto Rico? I was gonna say Caribbean. That's what I meant to say. In the Caribbean, is Puerto Rico the Caribbean? I think mean, it's all the Caribbean. We need a. I quit, guys. Okay, so that's what I was doing. I was heading to, that, that is where I'm heading, guys. I'm heading to Lebanon, Kansas, the dead center of America. And if we was ever going to get something together, you know, other than Michael Brinks always razzing us about, come on, guys, let's go to South Dakota. What the fuck's wrong with y'all? Come on, let's get together. Yeah, something like Lebanon, Kansas is the geographical center of America. And, and I'm going to go check it out on my way over to see my little brother. I would like to know, is that some place that could hold some sort of little event? Because it looks like it is. It looks like it probably gets biker uh, groups through it all the fucking time, especially with that open air freaking uh, oh, a vintage prison. Prison jail, whatever you want to call it. You know, the bar, baby. Ah, here we go. Be doing good. Evolving fast. Yeah, right, Leonard? I mean... Do you, do you hear your words in his text? Come on, do you hear your words in his titles? <laughs> do you hear your words? Uh, I hear them. Sweet, not legal in... What? What? What, what did he say? I need a goddamn magnifying glass for that word. Kansas, not legal in Kansas. Oh no, what did he just say? We not legal in Kansas. Damn it, you just quick check that? Did you quick check it? Okay, so we need to go somewhere where the weed's legal. <laughs> Eric would say, come see me guys, we got weed for fucking days. Got three hours of videos to edit from last trip. LOO told myself I was going to record less. And I recorded one more hour than normal. <laughs> Post it, son of a bitch. I'll watch it with you. <laughs> I will definitely watch it. Too far west. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Too far west. Well, I, mean, just, I don't know. Too far west. Yeah, it's Kansas City. Too far west. It was north for you. Yeah, mostly north. Mostly north thing to get, get to die. A little, a little bit of Westing, just a tiny bit. Uh, a ge geographical center of America. A population, I think, was uh, 800 or 600 for the town, though, at Lebanon, Kansas. Wasn't jack shit there. Wouldn't even be a fucking hotel to stay in. There was a big fish camp campground. Uh, and especially if you look over from Google, you'll see that it looks like it... Uh, it hosts uh, pro bass tournaments. You, I can tell. You know, I can tell by how it's set up. It and this is a pro bass lake. FLW or one of those, one of those pro bass fishing leagues. <sighs> I know. I used to be really deep into bass fishing too. <laughs> I've been really deep in all kinds of stupid shit. You fucking name it. I don't know how many of y'all might be watching. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Eric Tennant with uh, New Mexico, Arizona, Nevada, California, Washington, Oregon. One I know, one legal on the West. Yep. Yep. Florida. Florida. 
November when they when they reelect Trump or reelect Biden or whoever they fucking reelect with that John F. Kennedy Jr. Uh, Florida, it's going to have legal weed, dude. It's going to be on. There's going to be no stopping us. There, and there was a there was those two bills. Uh, what do you call them? Initiatives or whatever. They're, I don't know. I'm fucking politics. The abortion one needed 92 percent to pass. The fucking weed one only needed 52 percent. Bam! We're, oh, it was ninety percent and fifty-two percent. So it's gonna be legal weed by next year. I don't know. Probably takes more than one year for it to happen. I'm not sure how Arizona and all of them, what states did it, you know? Because our medical marijuana rolled in. You know how they roll stuff in. What do we have? Uh, Jared is enemy territory. Charity in enemy territory. <laughs> My old lady wanted me out of the state of Louisiana, guys, for that weed. She's like, Jared, something's going to happen there. I watch all these stories. That's the worst place ever. They'll put you on a chain gang. You'll be out there. <laughs> Breaking rock. <laughs> Making little ones out of big ones. <laughs> <laughs> like cool hand Luke. Uh, then they will crash to all time love after a year. Prices will be high at first. Now prices already plummeted in Florida, Eric. Uh, 150, 170 for the most expensive stuff in the store. Is what uh is what my little buddy uh Colby already tells me. It plummeted in Florida fast. For real, plummeted. So anybody selling on the street is forced also to sell at that 100, 150. This right here was at 170, I guess. So it was, but I think Colby only charged me 150 or 160 for it. Oh, God. Here I am. I spill the beans. Jesus Christ, live on the internet. Jared, you're not to be trusted. Well, I'm not sure if he buys it from the store and sells it to me or or what, but damn it. My poor buddy Tony isn't even smoking anymore, guys. We lost one. So well, I'm out there all on my own, dragging and the carrying him on my shoulders. A uh, half ounce for $35. Yep. Half ounce for 35 bucks. Yeah, I know. And you're still fooling around with the what you were and, and, and that you're like, I know. And somebody else did all the work for you. Tomatoes. Where is that pipe? Let's get this again. Weed, weed, weed. Uh, what else was there? Oh, so here we go. I went down to the uh, uh, Three Points, which was Louisiana, Arkansas, and I stood there and watched Solar Eclipse and a family. So, check. Damn it, Jerry. Where's your shit? Where's your shit? Where's your shit? You're supposed to have your shit ready. Right Sorry. Right. So, I'm, I'm standing there at that sign and, uh, Turns out I'm hogging it up is what it is because I got my bicycle leaned on it. And a uh, big old family, like seven, eight people come rolling over there. A couple husbands wide, a bunch of little rugrats around. Uh, but they weren't. They were They were in the, tw uh, let's say, 14 to 15, 16, something like that, you know. So kids, but they did not want to be hanging out with their folks type of kids. And uh, and, I, and I'm standing there and I'm like, and they're, and they're like, and they were all coming up. Looking at these glasses and all. And I'm like, uh, oh, and he's like, here, you want this pair right here? And I'm like, for real? So I just want to see it. You can have them right back. And, and I threw the old glasses on there. And hot damn, we can see a solar eclipse. And uh, he said, no, you keep them. We got bunches in the car. And she said, uh, did you check to see if those were the ones with the pinholes in them? <laughs> 
Teddy told them boys they were going to have to put potatoes on their eyes tonight if they kept staring at it without the glasses. Because them two kids, they were fucking, they just wouldn't fucking put them on. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. My son in love law used to live in uh, Colorado. Two ounces for 200 bucks on Tuesday. <laughs> Uh, I have been that smoke good gummies. <laughs> the OG state. Oh yeah, Colorado. Forgot about the OG state. Oh, stop it! I know that mom. I told Christy, but I'm not even gonna be fucking low on weed. Uh, you know. But I'm gonna find some excuse to go wander to one of them Colorado stores if it ain't got a bunch of fentanyl heroin addicts hanging out in front of it. I will say the stores in Florida there are very uh I don't know, no loitering. They can't they got no loitering. The only, I only went to that one in uh and I don't know how I missed them in Arizona. Y'all don't advertise and they ain't on the front door say get your weed here. It they, so uh, when I wasn't in Arizona and it was completely legal then. Three out of the three out of the three times that I went through there, I didn't see a story that said, "Oh, we got Kush here's in the bush. <laughs> Come get your skunk here in the cup for sale." Uh, it's a Tiva by the pound. I would have noticed that. We got the uh, old Bonnie and Clyde ambush photo. The, you, you can see her all slumped over right there. Hey, who's that on the ground? Is he sleeping? I think he's just asleep. You think he's faking? He looks asleep. <laughs> I did kind of get a kick out of going to that little, little area there. You know, for the places I got to see on the trip. That's going to be one of the ones I remember. And then I got this postcard here. That one I was gonna send this. I think yeah, I gonna send this this one right here to my old lady right here. And I was gonna send this to a little girl. And uh <laughs> that that lives with my mom. I wish I could get it down. <laughs> Yeah, so there's those two things. A few little goofy ass souvenir shit. You know, nothing really much. But more than the last trip or any other trip ever, because I she's like, Jared, you never fucking mailed me a goddamn postcard. You didn't even bring them back to me. I'm like, oh yeah. Yeah, that's something so doable. I didn't I don't think about it. Well, I've been to that intersection. Oh, you have. Obi Wan Zilla says he's been to the ambush site. You know, at no point did he tell me. Uh, damn, I didn't. Even... I just kind of assumed <laughs> it was right there in town or something. But you know, it was probably outside of town. I probably rode past it on. I think it was on seventy uh, Highway seventy. I think that was seventy that I was on when uh, when I went past there. Oh, where were we rode? 80 East? Was I on 80 East? I mean, 80 West? I think it was 80, wasn't it? That was 80. That's 70. I think it was 80. And then later on, I'm on 77. I think it was yesterday. No, 71. I don't know, guys. I'm not going to lie. I've been on a lot of old country roads and highways this trip. I've only got on the interstate tw twice. I did uh, Interstate 20 for about mm, 25 miles, 40 miles, something like that. I think it was maybe like more like 40 miles. Because I ended up above Shreveport uh, when I jumped off of it and went on to uh, Interstate 230. Right? It was in Interstate, yeah, 230, I think is what it was. And uh, rode on, dude, that fucking interstate was trash, dude. I ain't gonna lie. That fucking shoulder was so fucking nasty. And I mean, so fuck, it ran me off. I was like, no, no, I'm not fuck. Arizona did that a couple of times, Eric. No, no, no. There's some shoulders in Arizona that are just. Freaking horrible. And I mean, you're like, oh, I can't even go but fucking 10 miles an hour on this freaking surface right here. And uh, 
So that's when I remember I uh, pulled it off and uh, got the hell off the interstate. I'm fucking done with it right now. I'm, <clears throat> I've been on highway since then, and I have been kicking myself in the ass for it ever since, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't know. Back on the highway, you know, I'm sure if they get more fed up with it, I'm gonna end back up on the interstate where you can just keep on rolling. But I feel like you do see more when you're away from the fucking interstate. You're allowed to stop and look, and the interstate really doesn't have much stop and look. Although from the interstate, you can see pretty good. I mean, it's a pretty good, you know, and it's pretty scenic all the way down the interstate. But fuck that. Go back to some of my old guy's farms and big mega. Dude, I went past a property yesterday that it took, I swear it took 40 minutes to pass this whole property or something. I don't know, dude. It was miles and miles. You could tell it was all one property, mostly because it was also marked as one property. And then uh, later on, as they get down towards the end of the property where, where the main buildings were, it's that oil. Oh, that was some serious oil country, right? Just, just, uh, you know, yeah, that I was in and, and have been in in this area. A lot of derricks, a lot of the donkeys, a lot of the, you know, the, the trucks rolling down the road with the uh, equipment for derricks and whatnot. A lot of, uh, what are those settling ponds for the, for the works of the oil shit? I don't know. Maybe they settle all of it, but it, you know, with nets all over them. I'm not sure what they're doing. I'm sticking some sort of settling pond for, or oil. I, I, hell, I don't know. A crude tar or something? I don't know. But I do know oil and water don't mix, so they will separate naturally. Uh, Nevada has a nice city to city bike paths. Vegas bike paths suck. Here we go, Jared. You think a pulp rep? No, okay. So do I think a pop rivet gun? God damn it, guys! I'm having a hard time reading that. I'm fucking more blind than I'd like to admit. Where's those other glasses? Let me see if they were stronger. I brought two pairs. I highly doubt it, though. Oh, hell, I've never even worn them, have I? Fuck no, they're the same. They're the same goddamn reading glasses. I guess I need to get a set of twos for when I'm fooling around. These are 1.2 or 1.5, 1.75, something like that. No, the pop rivet gun, Ed, it was uh, it peened over. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, a rolled rivet. You know how they roll the edge? That pin would, would have gone through right there. You can see where it's got the rub marks on it. Come on, Jared. Where it's got the rub, rubness. Although that would need to be hammered flat again right there, so it would be a smooth contact surface. And it, it was through there and had been peened over, rolled, a rolled edge all the way over. Half of that edge has flaked off. It, it doesn't have half of the fucking uh, peened over edge. That, I, I assure you, I mean, that's obviously where this did. Dude, I thought this was in my spokes. I swear to you, now that's how you end up fucking trip pretty quick right there. Dude, I swore I thought it was in spokes. Oh, I was... You know, so you have all these fucking panics. You're like, oh, fucking, oh, but it wasn't in the spokes. Well, at least it wasn't in the spokes. You start looking for fucking shit to make you feel better. Like, oh, this could, this wasn't as bad as it could have been. Yeah, I mean, fuck that. You know what I did not do? I forgot to turn on the old banner. Just in the, I forgot. <laughs> Just in the old, I forgot. Uh, so it says motorized bicycle and dude, it was Tuesday at eight. I mean, yeah, that's the right banner that's up there. Uh, what else was there? Oh, I was sitting down at the park yesterday afternoon and uh, so fucking do check it out. So I'm sitting down at the park, minding my own business, eating my summer sausage and, and uh, Colby Jack, you know, is. 
fucking kid comes wandering out to me with a dirty white t-shirt on. Uh, starting to chat me up, though. You know, that fucking kid was bold as shit. So he started chatting me up. What's your name? My name's fucking Pete or whatever the fuck his name it was. I, I can't remember what his name was. I'm not going to lie. Let's call him Talco. <laughs> no. <laughs> we, uh, we sat there and chatted for a minute. And uh, he's like, hey, man, how old are you? I was like, I'm 50. So, oh, yeah, man, I'm 16. Will you buy me some beer? <laughs> Would you buy me some beer? Oh, what? Excuse me. Get your own goddamn beer, son. So, yeah. Uh-oh. Accessibility screen magnifier. Uh-oh. Yeah. Font. That's what I need. I need to change the font on my phone, don't I? That would be more... I don't know if that would be easy during, during the live here. No, we're going we're gonna to skip this. We're going to skip it. Thank you, uh, Eduardo Espinosa. I really appreciate that. I did not think about that. Duh. I could at least change the size of the font, which would make things far better. I'm sure it would uh, register on StreamYard. Font seems to be the same as on my, uh, on my comments. Although I'm already squeezed to this tiny little portion of my screen over to the side to have your comments in. But it's mobile, bitches. It's mobile. Uh, what else was there? Uh, yeah, so that kid fucking asked me, would you buy me some beer? Then I shot the kid down. I'm like, nah, dude, I'm, that's not my thing. Sorry. <laughs> when I gave him some weed, he didn't ask. He didn't ask. He didn't ask for weed. He asked for beer. Nah. Nah, I ain't got none. Can't help you. Ain't buying you none. <clears throat> but maybe if you'd ask me for some weed, you know. They hooked me up when I was young. When's a responsible age for starting any good sin? I don't know. There's a what's what's the fucking rule on that? You always hear about those make a wish foundations and all, you know? And I'm like, what you give the kid a blowjob or you know, maybe you know, he got his first date or a sticky finger or something, you know. I mean, took him to Disney. He ain't got maybe he wants something more than that. You know, maybe it's because y'all didn't give tell him that these were all the options he had. Would you like to blow up a car? Yeah, he probably would. You never, yeah, fuck yeah, fuck Mickey Mouse. So I'm just, you know, just rational. I'm just rational like that. Sorry, Jared, girlfriend came home. Where are you at, bro? Right now I am in uh, Mount Pleasant. You know, it's more smiles per mile. You end up in Mount Pleasant, dude. Of course you would. I'm in Mount Pleasant, Texas, where they've turned off the, dude, they turned off the porn. Who was telling me that? Texas turned off porn. While I was in this room, I couldn't resist. I checked. It's turned off. It's turned off, dude. They tell you that, uh, that, uh, sorry about the inconvenience. I already got one in my hand, man. What do you mean? But, you know, <laughs> turn it off. You cannot get it in the state of Texas. Fucking wild. <clears throat> uh, uh, did you what? Uh, uh, I must have missed a bunch of it. Whatever. Uh, dude, uh, I, I'm uh, right above San Antonio. Yeah, they turned off porn. Come on, dude. That's fucking, that's not, that, that was that was so fucking wild. When I, when I checked earlier, I'm like, oh, my God. And, you know, I had the little how, how pictures, you know, and then it'll a screen, you know, and it'll, it will load the main page. That's it. It loads that main page. You can't move from there. You're like, wow. 
guys, what? Y'all got to stand up for your rights to hear, man. You got to do something about that. What, the, what, what else is the internet for? Hanging out with your friends on the, on the YouTube. What the hell would they do? That's what I'm saying. Good for Texas. <laughs> You're like, good for Texas? It'll make the women hornier. You have to go see them in person. Uh-oh, who we got this? Evening time, Jared. Yes, Jim Pelopero. Pina Hattery. Damn, I wish I could say that. Yeah. That would be E. E O. Jim Pinario. Sounds Italian. I bet Italian. Or Greek, maybe. One of the two. Not like that's the same, but to me it is. To me, when I'm reading it, I'm like, oh, maybe Greek, though. Roma. Where's my little bowl? So we get this thing going. Panero. God damn. Panero. Yeah. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I th You know, I mean, because I want to say it. Jim Panero. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate that. I do. You know what I mean? I hate Jared Desermo. Fuck that, dude. I'm you know how many times I've had to repeat my goddamn name over and over, and you read it off of it? That ain't going to happen, dude. You're going to see it on the page. You're like, that's too many letters. That's way too many motherfucking letters, Jerry. There's every fucking vowel in the alphabet in there, dude. I can't pronounce it. So I don't blame people for that. <clears throat> that's why it says Jared D. I'd put my whole name in there, but it would go D-E-S-O-R. Blip, 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 blip. Yeah, uh. Let's shorten that down. <laughs> Let's shorten it down. Uh, Kim Scrambler showed in here. I did not see him earlier, but maybe maybe he was here. Oh, he's saying, hi, Kim. Good, Mike. Uh, I didn't I did see him. Well, there we go. We got stoned. You know, we've moved through stories. Uh, getting gas. How about we talk about getting gas? I've been uh, getting gas uh, about a dollar. I I've been I've been better timing it in that way of getting a dollar's worth of gas. I was I hate getting forty cents and sixty three cents. I would like it to be low enough in the tank that when I'm putting gas in it, a one dollar man, a fucking goddamn one dollar. So I've been I've been trying to get it to a dollar each time I give a gas. I think if I fill up everything I have on me. I end up with like a dollar forties worth of gas or something like that. I'll show you all the extra tank I'm really with. Don't drink it, you know. It's the gold peak. It's a fifty-two, fifty-two fluid ounces. Seems to be more than enough. It's a, it's a whole tank. There's probably a bit more than a tank with it in the neck like that. And, and, oh, 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 that yellow bottle. Oh, right there. That also has a uh, 750 milliliters of, of fuel in it as my reserve, right? You got your, you got your, your tank full you got your extra tank because you're unfamiliar with where services are at on the highways. Now you get on the interstate, dude, and I would get rid of that fucking big bottle. I would just ditch it. I ain't gonna lie. You know, on the fucking interstate, you do not goddamn need it. Fucking, there's a goddamn gas station before 50 fucking miles and certainly before 75. My wife says, water gives me gas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking shitty tea, but this this is good fucking tea, guys. I ain't gonna lie. What is it called? Gold Peak. Damn, I like this. Made with real cane sugar. Almost tastes like tea from home. It's the closest thing there is. This tastes like it says real cane sugar too, but 
it doesn't sour. This tea don't sour. You can leave the cap off of this thing for a couple of days, and I bet it's still just as drinkable. That tea right there, I ain't got a shelf life. You open, you open that thing up. That thing is a, going fast, dude. You better drink it or it's sour. I bought a gallon. It's in the fridge. It's in my mini fridge. Which is a if I hadn't turned the air on, you could hear it go click, 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 click. I'm gonna unplug that motherfucker here in a little while. Florida E bikes and gear. What's up? What's up? What's up? Nice. I was wondering if you uh, had a hobo camp. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm hoboing it tonight. So check it out, guys. I got this room here for two nights for 100 bucks. Is that a good deal? I thought that was a good deal. 100 bucks, $106. Not bad. Two nights, 106 bucks. No tail, no tail. You know, as, as far as I know, the tick didn't come from here, although I might get a tick from here. You never know. Oh, we got litter. Not. Nah. Oh, who okay. Somebody right here. Who is this? I like SI Augustine, Florida, and I've been watching your videos. Oh, he's in. I live in St. Augustine, Florida. Thank you, Lamar Stevens. Thank you. Yeah, we'll keep up with the trick, guy. It's totally worth following. I'm going to just keep it to shorts. Uh, you know, probably like I've been, or probably about eight a day. If, if, you know, if I have my way, it'll be from eight to 12 a day, but it'd at least be a two or three a day, you know, on the, like today, I still think I got three or four a month, even though there was only 15 miles of travel and me trying to get into this fucking room. I should have shot shorts out in front of that fucking, uh, assisted living facility. But dude, I was so fucking worried. They were going to tell me to move on. I'm like, man, I just, I just want to be dry. I just, I don't want to be wet. I just want to be dry. So I stood there and sat on the ground and kept my mouth shut and kept it quiet and clean and tried not to smoke a cigarette just as much as I possibly could. I probably smoked two of them the whole time I was there. And, uh, but yeah, it was fucking oh, all that was wind was howling. But then eventually I got so freaking fed up. I couldn't wait there anymore. Like, that's it. I got a hotel room. I don't care how wet I get. I don't care how wet I get. It's just, I got to get to the goddamn room. And I just headed off and motherfucker and motherfucker. But I'm sure that y'all have all have heard me say that I have a, I have a major, uh, come on Adobe only $249 a year. Holy shit. You could take a week editing one video. Good times. Don't make you. Doesn't make you lonesome at all. Doesn't make you lonesome at all. No, I'm no, I'm not lonesome. I'm not. I've never been really a lonesome kind. It's funny. I've never been a lonesome person, but I like to do great big adventures alone. I do all kinds of shit alone. And I've been with my old lady for over 35 years. Isn't that funny? Like, oh yeah, but why do you keep it? Cause she won't go with me and I'm not waiting. That's the truth of it. Uh, you cut uh, $6.99 or a year. I'm using, uh, when I do, I, we, we, I use a children's fucking editor. Guys, uh, was it up? Video Guru, free download on the App Store. Uh, has every feature that that y'all would do it edit on my phone so i need one that's you know is mobile and set up for the mobile platform can you trim out microseconds and overlays and all that absolutely it'll do it all but it's layer after layer after layer and uh i guess most people will notice that i don't do a lot of layers i just do two tree layers and that's it man fucking little little fix of sound here and there put a little music in there Mm, add some what do you call the transitions you know and then leave it long but still even cutting though just cutting it is can be hard 
I think uh, this, I have not even edited a short on this. I've been doing the, uh, I have shot like two and three shorts to shoot one short to use the better of the three. Probably three or four times now, but it usually only go on like three or four, 10 seconds. And I'll be, ah, ah, restart, restart. I try to get all this in here at once. You cut in here and phone. I just pay for music. Oh, you cut is free on the phone. I just pay for music. Gotcha. 5,000 to 500. Simple is good. Yes. Thank you, Skip. Yep. Clean cut stuff, you know, in that way. I was watching, uh, Eric, I'm watching a guy who, uh, although he's having a hell of a time putting videos out. Uh, doing the Southern Tier and uh, and his fucking video <clears throat> has the highest amount of bicycle B-roll I have ever seen. He is riding past that camera a good 25 times of video, maybe more. So he is setting, resetting, setting, resetting, setting, resetting, and leaving it behind. Also using a, a, a 360. God damn it. Well, I'm just fucking airheaded as all hell. Using the, the Insta 360, or at least some sort of 360. So he gets the pan, the pan by, which is a really cool fucking shot. Uh, what else was there? There was a, I can't remember the fellow's name, but he's going to pass me up quick. 360 even more of a bitch to edit. I know, dude. We got a Johnny's motorized bicycle. He's got the uh, Insta 360. And uh, so far, he has done little to nothing with that thing. And that way, that, no, no, dude, that thing, uh, I'm sure it's even harder to edit. Like, by a lot. Information overload. <coughs> Looks major fish eye too. I don't know. There's some way you could do a pan with it though. And that doesn't look so damn bad. I mean, a, a little bit, but as it goes by, as you give it in that, you know, you're like, that's sweet. That's a flyby. Goddamn flybys. It's better than catching the coming and then catching the going and then Tying those two together, my mother got that coming and going in a single shot. Doc Holiday Customs. What's up, man? How's the trip going so far? Our trip is going uh going pretty good. I'm having a great time. It's day seven. I'm I'm in uh Mount Pleasant, Texas. I should check how far from home I am right now, but I don't know if y'all have ever used Google Maps in that way. She can give you different distances all day long. She would take you down different paths all different hours of the day. And you're like, that's not the way I went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now, now she says this way is the more optimal path to take. So I, I do have to say that uh, my actual mileage on this will be uh, only determined by Google Maps at, uh, at the end of the month when she gives me my timeline. Right? She'll give you. If you do the uh, timeline with, with Google, uh, you can go check and see all the miles that you covered. Although she'll mix in uh, motorcycle miles as well. She'll say I was on a bicycle for this many thousand miles or I was on it and mixed in motorcycle. So I don't know what my speed is when she starts calling me a motorcycle, but she'll fucking mix in motorcycle. Maybe it's over 25 or 30 or something. And she starts saying those are motorcycle miles. Uh, random did the same at the first and now regrets it because it caught, I can't fix bad video and sound on my old tours. Okay. Wait a second. Random. Just take your hand. 
about 680 miles. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Cecilia Ann. I appreciate that. 680 miles. I lost 15. That's how I feel about it, though. I'm not going to lie. I feel like I backed up. 156 yesterday, and then I feel like I backed up. So I was coming I was coming due west, and then to head to a room and still get to that room before noonish, or at least to a town before noon, I could have went 35 miles perfectly in my direction, uh, 25 miles just straight north or 15 miles south and, and there's a town there <laughs> and after sleeping in that fucking abandoned mansion uh, my bando mansion uh i man i took the path of least resistance <laughs> i did although fucking wind was out of the south god damn it i mean i bet i bet the 35 wasn't as bad as it sounded because it was a downwind run so I, I don't know on that one i can't i can't be sure but i do know on wednesday it's out of the northwest at 25 huh yeah dude wednesday's fucking gonna be that we say thursday i'm sorry thursday a northwest 25 like, God damn, Jerry, that's right. Yeah, I know I'm gonna be doing west that day. It looks it sounds like I'll be heading more west than, than northwest. <laughs> Just to stay out of it. And not that it slows me down, but I don't know if y'all went against, you know, really strong headwinds and whatnot, but it really becomes, you know, it, it ruins some ride for you. What do we have here? Let's get all focused in. I ride out and have some crazy shit happen. I just wanted to start filming it yesterday. The mailman almost killed me. <laughs> yeah, mail people. Mail people aren't that bad. Usually they're pretty good. Not going to lie. I've been dealing with pulpwood trucks, guys, this whole time. I, it's been pulpwood trucks since I left my goddamn house. All these fucking pine trees, man. Just calls them pulp waters out out of goddamn truckload. But they've been pretty good with me. I'm not going to lie. I have not had any uh, pulp wood experiences. Uh, those mulch trucks, the mulch bed uh, box, you know, the, the oversized, uh, like the trash box, whatever that is, 54 by, by, it's a high, it's a high box. So, you know, that box is high. It's higher than the standard box. That fucking heat thing is huge. And uh, when they come rolling by, and I'm telling you what, dude, they're always pouring the beans on, dude. <laughs> and Loud, I'm getting at the rumble, and uh, yeah, you can feel them. You're like, mm -hmm. <laughs> damn, that guy sucked the world out around him. So, yes, those guys have been hit, but nobody has been had. I've had no problem. Everybody has moved over. There's, I ain't even gonna lie, guys, I cannot deny how many fucking almost every I haven't noticed anybody try to pass me close. What I call thread and needle, everybody has, has uh, you know, has been. They've been pretty good. I have, have not had that problem yet. Uh, somewhere in Arizona on a particular road headed to outside of Tucson to their landfill. I happen to be on that road. And uh, yeah, they thread the needle on me many times and ran me off the road twice where I, I felt like I was going to die. So what did I do? I got in the fucking lane. There. There. Ah, nah, I took it from you. Now you, know, now, now, now you guys can't leave motherfuckers so yeah uh you're gonna have to run me over like a fucking cockroach then nah full on run me down man fuck you you're not fucking shoving me over to a goddamn telephone pole i seen uh Stuart labrosa i don't remember anybody remembers him and i used to hang out, yeah watch his stuff and uh yeah fucking weirdo But I commented to him that he was playing the game, threading the needle there with the with the cars, and uh, it' gonna get him killed. Oh, still, dude, I'm looking around for my bong. I swear to you guys, I just looking for the fucking bong. I, I thought I just set that thing down. Where's my fucking bong? Oh, you don't got a bong, Gary. You're smoking the old nasty pipe. Oh, 
So here we go, guys. Did anybody catch out Leonard to roll his uh, stage six decals on his helmet? So his helmet now is officially 14 horsepower. I don't know if y'all know that or not. He's not playing the same game as y'all, but his helmet is 14 horse. <coughs> you need some joint. <laughs> Fucking hate joints even worse. <laughs> and I'm a smoker. Isn't that weird? I got some crazy fucking stupid hangups. Yeah, I want a bong. What about a toy bong? Mm, I'm probably I was thinking about stopping the store and getting one of them little toy bongs. I ain't gonna lie, you know, they got some little weird goofy things. Uh, one in silicone. My little buddy Colby come by with one in silicone. You know, travel size like that. All silicone with a glass slide. Or stem, a glass stem. I'm like, well, check that out. Oh, yeah, that's right. No, and the stem, the, the bowl itself was silicone all the way around the glass. That, that's what else was super cool about it. So even this bowl of silicone, so silicone to silicone. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah, no hole in the back, no carb. Lip bow. Get an apple. <laughs> get, an, get an apple. What the hell does that mean, Leonard? <coughs> I can't afford no damn apple. I love joints. Uh, one gram and eight minutes gone. Uh, Eric. I can't believe you're fucking smoking that size of a joint, dude. I'll tell you that right fucking now, you damn guy. I cannot believe you took fucking joints that fucking big. That is a lot of fucking joint, dude. And then you're fucking sitting in that video, and you'll finish that goddamn thing. And you're like, holy shit, did you just fucking smoke that whole goddamn joint by yourself? He's like, yeah, man. Yeah, just a break. It's just a short break. What do you mean? <clears throat> There's just one. <laughs> you probably smoked three of them things. Rodrigo's Franco, good evening. Uh, what did you, what? Where are you now? Right this second, uh, Rodrigo's Franco, I'm in Mount Pleasant, Texas. Big smiles from Mount Pleasant. <laughs> I, uh, I hit it out at <laughs> nine tenths of my green breaks, too. <laughs> I know. Because <laughs> you'll, you'll have lit that damn thing. And then next thing you know, we're, we're down to a, uh, you're holding it, and you're like, holy shit, he smoked that old fucking honker. And I know how big it is, because I, I look at it all the time. I'm real familiar with it. Uh, if I smoke a joint, I, I wanted about half this big. This is fucking huge for a joint. My brother, my brother Stacy likes to smoke a fat joint, though. I, I will say that. Jimmy, uh, I met Jimmy Love, uh, Tony. Tony was always big for smoking a fat joint. Not too fat, but he's a he was a perfect hand roller. Had that perfect technique from being a young guy rolling his own cigarettes and all those years of practice, Navy and all, you know. There are many horses. There are many horses. Dude, I have seen a many donkeys. And a mini horses, a plenty. I've seen a whole farm of mini, a mini, mini donkeys. I've never seen a mini mule. Funny that, huh? I've never seen a mini mule, but I've seen little mini donkeys. So if you take a mini donkey and you take a mini horse, are you getting a mini mule? Surely there's mini mules. Oh, government mule. And uh, on my one of my trips across Texas, I swear to you, uh, Bri, I seen fucking uh mini herd of cattle dude if you'd seen them you'd have been like that's not real those are babies that's not real dude and horns and everything dude they they and they uh i can't think that african breed you know you'll see a, a lot of them in africa this particular uh whatever cut and shape of cow cattle anyways and uh yeah and that's what that was the the breed that was that they got that they had shrunk and you're like Man, that's just the coolest fucking shit, man. I I got some pictures of it, but there's nothing in the picture to give you scale. Like it needs a big old trash can or something sitting over there so you can say, 
holy shit, that thing, that thing's the size of a fucking trash can. Oh, Raul, do check that out. I didn't even see a Raul pop in. And who else do we have here? Uh, Kim Scrambler, what do we got here? I got some, uh, oh, Kim Scrambler's got, uh, I got some fat boy rims and tires coming tomorrow. For my MZ65, one part at a time. Uh-oh. Some people have learned this. I was kidding up, Leo, about horsepower as there is tiny horses. No, <laughs> you don't want to lie. You're choking it. <laughs> My last relative just died. Damn. Tony. I, uh, your mom meant a lot to me as well. And, um, I really, I, I, sorry for your loss. What, what is it? I, oh my God, you're catching me at a bad time with that. I feel really bad. Uh, Tony's, uh, mother had passed, uh, three days, two, two days ago. Yesterday, day before. Two days ago, three days ago. Yeah, so there was that. Sorry. Sorry for your loss. That's what it was. Sorry for your loss. Hell of a woman. And she fucking loved her son. Remember, we were all talking, you know, you better say and all this. Dude, apparently that lady wanted to see her son before she passed. Fine. Got out of the fucking ambulance. Where's Tony? I want to talk to Tony. And then passed. In her own house, though. Where you belong. So there's that little drama. That was real. <clears throat> but. And he to thank you. Tell him you are still hanging out with us. All right. I don't know if you, you know, if you left the left the show or not, but I'm rooting for you. Hi. <laughs> okay. What do we have? Uh, thanks. Uh, hi, Tony. Uh, you did what was comics. I sold your bike looking great. Again. I sold your bike. Uh, there he is. Oh, fuck it. She said, she said, yeah, it's a rain poncho. Wait, that ain't a damn rain poncho. Holy shit. That thing was literally ineffective. I'd have been better off with a fucking regular black trash bag. <laughs> Something about you you save too much money. Sometimes you can save too much money. Uh-oh. I fucking hate April. <laughs> Sorry, Soundtrap. Sorry for your loss, dude. Especially your wife in that way that you know over all others. I'm the last one. The last one. The sole survivor. Hang in there, dude. There's a lot more to come. It'll be worth just watching to see what happens. Don't lie. You see Trump coming? Come on, you didn't see none of that shit happen. That happened. So, good or bad on it, I'm just saying the TV show got a whole lot fucking better, even though we didn't all fucking know what was going on. It still ain't going to make the electric bike safe, though. 
<laughs> oh, I would love an electric bike to see how hard it would be to keep that fucking thing charged on a trip like this. Uh, I had those those old guys yesterday when uh, we was watching that uh, eclipse. He was uh, he's like, well, "Damn guy, how how do you keep your bike charged?" I'm like, "What?" <laughs> I said it was a motorized bike. I didn't say it was an electric bike, but it'd still be a motorized bike, though. So I was like, "Oh yeah, well, I, I, uh, I, I die. It's not electric." <laughs> That's what I tell. But I, I, I did want to, you know, I want to try that out. I'm what? He says I'm numb. Well, get some fucking weed, dude. It'll help. No doubt. Let's get you some goddamn. I hope you got some smoke for tonight. Maybe a cold beer, whatever the one, whatever the one is you got. You know, I hope you got it. It's it's worth it. I am numb. Damn, dude, you're floored us with that. Damn, I'm so so sorry for you. The Tony thing was hard for me. Fucking his sister called. Dude, I'm on the freaking side of the freaking highway, and she calls me and. I'll admit I was in a fucking panic, a full on fucking stop the fucking presses, come to a halt <laughs> type of thing. And uh, shit, I fucking stopped everything. I was like, I don't know. It could have been about my lady. could have been about Tony. Could've been, it could have been anything. And I was like, well, you know, so I, <sighs> what? <clears throat> uh, so in that way, when I got the news, it's actually a relief. <laughs> I hate to say it, damn it. <laughs> I was relieved. I once had this guy tell me, Jerry, man, I got something to tell you. I'm not sure that guy was going to tell me that he was queer, dude. I swear to God, he was going to tell me that he was gay. He said, I'm going to escape convict for murder. And all of a sudden, I feel better. I'm like, ah. Oh. I had you so much worse. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm just such a weird. I think I'm only like 16, 17 years old, dude. But whatever. So sometimes uh, some news is better than others. Welcome, shame. We're all welcome to the. Oh, shit. Everybody's fucking. I missed a bunch. Good thing you s served it, bro. You bought a what? I bought a Tomo Bike V30 this afternoon. You did, didn't you? Good for you. You earned it. You deserve it. Don't fucking kick yourself over that. It's worthwhile. I don't even know what the fuck it is yet. Tell me. Tell me what I didn't know just said. I'm listening. Damn, Raul got hurt. Uh-oh. I was driving uh, to MC Donald for a shame. <sighs> Rat shake. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh my God, you're sore from walking. So let me tell you guys. Here we are, here we are with the. Uh... Oh, it's a 30 mile per hour e bike. Damn, saddle tip. Now I wonder. Is it the one that, 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 uh, that, 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 uh, uh, Florida e bikes and gear? Was it one of those? You know, looks like mm, almost motorcycle pedals, but has that, you know, tube frame? The tube frame? Was it one of the tube frame ones? That's more of what I was asking. We had a motorized bicycle, guys. Uh, specific made. Not that motoped. Uh, who, who was that, Mike? Uh, they, they were going to those races and uh, and uh, over-competing. They had the... Uh... God, Jared, you are so retarded. I just smoked a pot. Shut the fuck up. 
I'm almost 70. Too fast enough. Ah, Tan Boys, good evening, sir. Good evening. Small motorcycle. It is small motorcycle. That's what I thought. I thought it was a small motorcycle one. That, that's all I'm saying. That's what, what I thought it was. With fake pedals? Or no fucking fake pedals on it anymore. Thousand bucks. Thousand bucks, not bad. That's actually kind of cheap. And that's ways for that. For, uh, for, uh, the styles. Very good, dude. Get, get out there. It's fucking summertime. Get a roll up, you know. You know, give, you, give yourself a reason to go saddle tramp, bitch. <laughs> get that saddle tramp on. Hits the nickname. Oh, you could also find a little Mrs. Lucky number, what, three, four, five, two? Right around the corner on one of them, too. Don't don't forget about that, chicks dig it. Get yourself, you know, an old lady on the back hugging you tight. Rip it around. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, haven't seen this happen yet. I... Have not somebody post that one, guys. Glenn Small Engine and Repairs. Get you and your wife on the same bike. Or DNS, any, I would love to see this, you know. I don't think anybody's ever motorized bicycle two up. <coughs> now, in Thailand and, and uh, the Philippines and a few of those places, dude, you can see the fucking China bikes, dude, with two up on them, dude. All over the place. They put that heavy, uh, that heavy rear rack uh, seat. It's a rat and a seat at the same time, you know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, they're fucking riding it. And then fucking people ride backwards on it, you know, just fucking plump down and hold on. Are <laughs> you like, uh, they're more adventurous there. Wow, things are going fast. I, uh, this is just a, a thing I can't find parts for. Chicks, I can't keep them running. <laughs> Stay sitting. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, I told Christy I'm going to go down to the beach and get some hotties to lean against it, take some photos. And uh, she said, yeah, let me see it. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to see those. Go. Let's see it. <laughs> She's right, man. That ain't gonna fucking happen. Uh, uh. Oh, somebody's building a sex robot. I'm glad we had a little chat going on tonight. I know that I've been hogging up the conversation. We should be talking more about what everybody was up to. Uh, who else did I see on the on the old YouTube this evening? I, I was cramming them in. I only watched that one short from Eric with the little sunrise, uh, teasing me to come over to my channel and come see it. And I'm like, oh, I will, I will. Uh, who was? I don't know. I should have had a second device on me tonight. Fuckers. I almost picked up that crappy phone and found out if it were you call from death. What the hell is a damn Wi-Fi, lady? Your shit got smudged. Like I'll show you, it's still soaking wet. It seemed indecipherable to me. I couldn't I couldn't figure it out. It's too late now. But when it mattered, I couldn't figure it out. It does feel nice in this room, though. I ain't gonna lie. I was outside for too long, just said. I know I stayed at my mom's house not so many days ago, but <laughs> it did feel like I was outside. That rain really changes how you feel. You know, two days of rain on you outdoors is, goddamn, that's a lot of fucking whatever 
suck. Got a lot of suck. I mean, you know you got to embrace the suck. Well, Rain's got a lot of suck in it. <clears throat> and my drive, I will say, my drive doesn't drive very well to zero when it's fucking soaking wet like that. I ain't going to lie. I, I, that hence why we broke the derailleur because I shifted into gear. It will help you pedal considerably if you, you know, if you're pedaling the bike like old Eric Kennedy. It will assist, you know, you'll climb that hill now without getting fucking sweaty, getting up to the top. But you will have to fucking keep giving it that over torque, you know, the over torque. And I'll give you the follow through. You give me the over torque and I'll give you the follow through. And uh, yeah, because somebody come in here earlier asked me if I had to remove the governor. It's like, oh, God, no, 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 no. You said that and now you can. You can cadence with the with the stroke into the piston and yeah, we're moving right along. We're moving right along. Dude, I was getting it, dude. I'd left had it like seven or eight, whatever I said in that video. Seven, I think it was seven still. I, I no, I rolled over today and got the corn dogs. I, I think it was just just before eight when I fucking, you know, I had to wait for some real good light. You know, I'm not I'm gonna get fucking run over and murdered. So I had my old safety orange on, wherever the fuck that is in here. My day glow. Which I'm not really into wearing shit like this, but uh, you know, it's it is when it's foul, man. I'm I don't want to get fucking mashed. And uh, uh, we don't know why my cable broke, sir. I think my cable never broke. I don't believe my cable broke down. Sorry, my derailleur broke. Raul. That's half my derailleur. It's not supposed to be in my hand. It's uh, not supposed to be in my hand. It is not on the bike. Not on the bike at all. See how you just get in here, my brother. We'll take a quick look at it. there that's what happened tell me how it happened i can't i cannot fucking tell you no fucking clue what happened <clears throat> i can tell you that holy shit so yeah so that's where we're at we're in mount pleasant texas on the more smiles per mile tour and we're Keeping our spirits up. <laughs> a fairly tough fix. Let's be honest. A fairly tough fix. But don't heal for a climber. There is, there is the option, guys, that if I get so utterly fucking fed up with it tomorrow, I go into Walmart, grab another fucking bicycle, and throw my kit on it. Met. Any fucking bicycle with a seat post will do. But I'm hoping at bare minimum I buy chain breaker, which I thought I had one on me, but I do not have my chain breaker on me. So I'm gonna go into Walmart, buy a chain breaker, comes with master link, shorten the chain, make it a single single speed. I probably should have only been running a single speed anyways, but I sure like a derailleur, guys. I mean I call when you're cadencing with that motor, you know. There you go. There you go. That's what you need to have to do. You need you want your damn gears. Could be good. Shit happens. Yeah, that makes it makes it probably true. So we rented this room for two nights while it's pouring rain outside. We're in the middle of a goddamn tornado season, I guess, or whatever. Uh, I, I've seen uh, everyday adventures. Uh, A and B garages 
do it once again this year doing his uh, april showers may flowers and he's like hey fly eight march flowers bring april shop <laughs> yeah this is the april shower shit brings may flowers i guess it wasn't we're fucking heading towards freaking eric was so i mean every time i did the southern tour as soon as i broke out of the texas tree line it was no chance it was gonna fucking rain <laughs> it was like it was known for not raining. Uh oh, here we go. Here we go. What do we got? I drove to. I drove a garbage truck. I like garbage. In the eighties, we bitched about Japanese parts. Come on now, don't lie, dude. That's why I kind of. That's what I try to tell people, dude. I watched, I watched it. I've been here for at least one turning of the wheel. You're almost seventy. You've seen it turn two or three times now, and you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I mean, I mean, I remember y'all fucking you said that about that, and now you got somebody like, well, Japanese part done totally. I would use those. What about Korean parts? Kia. I mean, this is a, you know, I mean, what? Yeah, made in Korea. Yeah, you'd accept that too. Made in Hong Kong. That was always fucking Chinese. I don't really, I don't really have any. Uh, I don't have any hangups about who made my stuff. That's not really never been one of my things. And when we say they they ended manufacturing in America, which they did to a large extent, they also ended mass pollution in ways that we have all literally forgotten. The kind of pollution that you can't ignore. The Ohio River used to catch on fire and burn for days. Well, we didn't have to live through any of that. They live through that shit in China right now. They still, they, they got it going on. That shit's rolling downhill on their asses still. So that's all I can say about that. The big black cloud we used to make, they make it. And huff that shit all day. We wouldn't have made it cleaner. It's not profitable. And nobody doing it for free. Uh ah, -uh, very true. Twelve thousand watts, baby. Four fifteen-inch speakers, uh, monitors, monitors. Right, they even come a speaker at that point. Fifteen inches, a monitor. I got one. I got one fifteen-inch uh, for uh, singing. Sing, uh, right. Uh, and a power amp. I think my power amp though is only like one hundred seventy-five watts or. Yeah, it's or 225, 175 or 225. But I know just plugging your fucking guitar in it, it won't fucking make no noise. You know, you get and then uh getting some sort of little uh amp like my uh little guitar amp and now that you gotta you gotta you gotta push hard. You gotta, uh, give it a shove, you know, 175 or more. And, oh, look at that thing wakes up. I got one of those old uh seventies models amp power amps, you know, goes on top of monitor and uh whatever. All the all the knobs are push pull. Different effects in that way, you know, you get different effects by pushing it or pulling it. And multi plug, right? What plug did you plug in? You pull, push pull. Tunable, I guess, in that way. But I stop. I stop. I'm acoustic now. I gave it all up. I went acoustic. <laughs> Like Bob Dylan, we went electric. Well, I went the other way. My old lady got me a Fender early, and when I was, a, I think I was 18 years old, got me a Stratocaster, you know, and that taught me how to play guitar. And then I got rid of all nice guitar equipment, and now I just had the most junkiest, rattiest stuff you'd ever see. Tan Boy Industries uh, shows off having a whole pile of beautiful guitars. Uh, my pile of guitars now is old rat doggies, they're all beat up. And, well used, seasoned. <laughs> Did you ever see a Willie's guitar? 
holy shit, he done played holes in that son of a bitch. But that, Martin, oh Martin. Uh, I seen Jared. Hey Jared, instead of buying a new bike, see if you're close to a local bike shop and get a derailleur from them. Raul, we are not next to a local bike shop. And we called Goodwill and we called the other local uh uh sized uh what do you call it, uh, thrift store. No, Salvation Army style, like Goodwill, not the thrift store. There may still be a thrift store. She said I, I couldn't tell you if, of a thrift store in town that had had them, right? So she was trying to be as friendly as she could, but she I can't tell you that, you know. But we ain't got none. Same with the Goodwill lady. So we ain't got none. But you're welcome to come by and look here. We're across the street from Walmart. So it's on the list. Walmart is walking distance from where I'm, where I'm at, which is probably what I'll end up doing tomorrow. I'm fucking walking over there in the rain. I'll probably fucking use the damn fucking umbrella I found. That damn umbrella, guys. I swear that was a good find, dude. That was the best find of the whole trip, man. I really need that fucking The gloves. I thought the gloves were a good find. Mm, it's been too warm. It's been too fucking warm. That umbrella, on the other hand, uh, I did get wet today, but not the kind of wet where you are if you ain't got an umbrella. Do you know what I mean? Dude, there is varying amounts of wet. And I was umbrella wet. Uh, it's a big sports umbrella, too. So not a, not, not a little personal umbrella. It's a, you know, it's a great big old sports umbrella with the flats. You know, it's got the inner flats with the big breeze and, and without holding your fucking umbrella in half. So I stayed under the umbrella, kept the umbrella over my front load. The bucket, the bucket can take, you know, all the rain you want. Although I did notice the bucket leaked some, and I don't know if it was the bucket lid being open or I don't know. Normally I'm not out in that torrential fucking rain like that. Hell of a cold soon for you. Right? I got too much shit, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I dumped it all out. Dumped all the bags out. All that crap. Where is my... I thought I had some settings, too. So, more. Post comment. Settings. Camera. Facing front, facing back. <laughs> yeah, I pulled it all out. I wanted to see. I don't want to see what was wet. I mean, I'm up in everything in here. <laughs> totally necessary. Totally fucking necessary. She made me uh she made me give her a twenty dollar deposit. Said I wouldn't smoke. So while I was at Dollar General store, I bought a candle. <laughs> uh that candle said it was supposed to smell like apple cinnamon. That candle smells like wax. Literally has no fucking uh what are you going to call it in it? No 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 season. No Seasoning, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, none. Does not smell like apple cinnamon. What a diva. <laughs> what a diva. I know, I had to know. I had to know what was wet, what was dry. 
It was a lot. How, how about the green bags? The green bags are yeah, apparently mostly waterproof. Although there was, there were some things that got damp, but uh, nothing I could find that was wet. Thankfully, I cannot deny. Fragrance. Thank you. That was where I was looking for fragrance. The freaking candle had no fragrance in it. What so fucking ever, dude? It smells just like wax. Motherfucker, I could not fucking believe that. Goddamn dog turtles for you sons of bitches for two bucks. They, they stuck it to me. I damn sure don't smell apples and cinnamon. I do smell candle, though, Bernie. I do smell candle, not apples and cinnamon. They must have skimped on the apple and cinnamon both. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> like I said, I don't I, I don't know if I'm gonna get my twenty bucks back. That's all I'm saying. I don't know if I'm gonna get my twenty dollars back. We'll see. I bet this don't help none either. So I mean, I was like, you know, maybe it wasn't even tobacco she was worried about smelling. You're like, God damn, you're smoking that skunk butt in our hotel room. It's only 20 bucks. So I got this room for uh, two nights for 50 bucks a night, $106. I thought that was a great score. I don't know for hotel rooms. I mean, I thought that was a fucking amazing of a price. I was like, hell yeah. At least my first one didn't fucking rob me. I'm getting it two nights. I'm getting two nights because it rains, it rains out again tomorrow. I don't have a choice. I am not being out there for it. And because of the help and friendly donations of all of y'all, I felt like, well, you know, and Chris is like, Jared, that's what you should. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, yeah, you're right. You're right. And I will wait for the rain to stop and I will leave out on a sunnier day on with Thursday. Hey, it's, it's a vacation at the same time. It's supposed to be splurging and look at here. I'm a, I've splurged a damn double room. But also, I didn't think this was going to be a, it didn't happen today, right? I would have had to had it done today. To say that for tomorrow, I, I I did not. I did not. What will I do tomorrow? I will get it done. Yes, but I'll have from the morning to gather to gather information and parts and pieces and any other paraphernalia I may need to uh, assess the situation professionally or whatever competently. Motherfucker still got to make some more miles. <clears throat> Will I leave out with it still broken? I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. Me and Chris here are talking about eh, If it comes down to it, I will get another fucking bicycle. It may not be a nice as I'm enjoying my ride right now. Bike, so, but yeah, I, I could always do that. It's, it's still a possibility. Just for a derailleur, um, a dangling chain. I mean, it's not just a derailleur, but it's a dangling fucking chain. What about the wheels? Wheels have been fantastic. Uh, hadn't had a single wheel issue. So, oh, dude. So there's one, that's something worth mentioning, dude. Uh, uh, Cecilia Ann said I went 680 miles so far, and uh, or at least as far as the Google line draws us right now, which is probably more like seven something, just because, dude, I've already three or four times, guys. I ain't going to shit you not. I got lost, man. I done got lost several fucking times. I have passed my turn by five miles just, just yesterday, the day before. I think it was just yesterday. Yeah, by five fucking miles, five goddamn miles and i just went ahead and accepted her new reroute so instead of turning around most often i just 
accept her reroute, right? You're like, oh, yeah, I missed that entire well and uh, do this right here type of thing. Every now and then, though, she says, 500 feet, turn around. 500 feet, turn around. 700 feet, turn around. <clears throat> what? What? 680, you getting lost. Yes. Even with Google, how can, how can that happen? Dude, it's not terribly lost, just by some little short mileage, you know? A mile here, a mile there, two miles here, two miles there. Uh, to get to that ambush museum, I was I was going the wrong way at first, and then I started going the right way, which because I missed my turn. <laughs> but it wasn't a big deal, but still, it was a deal. Like, should I? Oh, whatever. I, uh, it's just the mapping is, has been an adventure. Uh, what about Signal? Dude, Signal's been, well, strong. It's, I've had it. I've had it when I wanted it. I haven't noticed that it was out on me yet, except for that one night where I had to go uh, change campsites. But so far, I mean, when I found I, you know, I was in the, some rural ass area earlier yesterday at four o'clock. I could have stopped and camped somewhere without a roof, but it was a rest area, you know, and they had a lot of, a lot of stuff offered other than a roof. But I would do that sort of so needed that fucking roof. I would have so needed and that inside that store was still far superior to any outdoor sleeping. It was my first time to ever sleep in a, in a walk-in cooler. I left my air mat at home. I told myself I would not need it. Mm, there's things I regret. There are things I regret. Oh, mine says, bend over, grab your ankles. <laughs> I don't think it actually says that on the box. <laughs> no one actually prints that on the box. Your raw wealth's good enough. Uh, so I so who what else I may have missed with the uh, Raul showing up here in that way that I could have covered in the topics. Uh, some kid asked me to buy him some beer. That was that was one of the little weird things. <laughs> and uh, what else? Harassed by a dog, broke the hanger on my bucket. We didn't even cover the broken fucking bucket. A goddamn bucket right now was fucking wired on there or zip tied on. Oh, I hate a zip tied. I it's it's my seat, it's my chair, and uh. If you zip tie it on there, well, all of a sudden you're like, well, man, why not use a panter bag? Yeah, yeah, I know. The reason I use the bucket is because, God damn it, as soon as you take it off of there, oh, it comes with a chair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Decent bit knee chair, like the best you can get. That way of, you know, portable. Multi-use. Makes a hell of a food storage container. You know, you shut the lid and raccoons and all are not coming to get your shit all the time. What about black bear and no, all? I don't know. I, I've really, I've never really hid my food from animals other than uh, put it in a bucket, put the lid on. You know, it's really fucking uh, discourages folks. But raccoons, though, I don't know if you know which one. A raccoon could open your bucket. You got to be careful. If you feel like this can be raccoon territory, you might want to set something on your bucket, dude. That motherfucker will go over there and pry a fucking lid off. <clears throat> open to something, a picnic basket, any of that lift, tilt lids and all, dude. Raccoons have been bred to understand how to do a tilt lid. <clears throat> What's in here? Uh oh! Run with it! Run! 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 And they are the piss poorest running animal on the whole planet, and right along with the possum and the armadillo. Not meant for speed, dude. All three of them guys not meant for speed. In fact, the possums, uh, like, fuck it, man. I'm just gonna lay here, dude. Either he's going to get me or not. And when he's laying there, he'll be like, what if you touch him? He ain't doing shit, dude. He ain't going to bite you. Trust me. 
that motherfucker's just just gonna keep bluffing. He's just gonna lay there and keep bluffing and <laughs> weird, fucking weird. Yes, because yeah, I, I, you were saying that you were in uh, Saint Augustine. Yeah, you know what I mean, like park raccoons. Those, dude, those guys are so fucking bold. They'll, they'll go in your car, dude. They'll, they'll. I've been at some campgrounds too with skunks. I don't know if y'all know, but on the side of the road, there's these, you know, there's a skunk and raccoon competition. They both a- approximate the same diet, eating the same things on the, you know, so you'll notice that there's armadillo country, there's raccoon country, and then there's skunk country where this is that guy living in that niche there, you know, he's what you find on the road. That's what I'm getting at. How many skunks have I seen though? I am four skunks in right now. I go, I, uh, first one was in, uh, somewhere in Mississippi, early part of Mississippi. Seen a dead skunk, smelled a dead skunk, right? All the way up to rolling right past him. And, uh, but yeah, it's still mostly raccoon and dillos. A lot of dilla, a lot of raccoon. Raccoon being the number one, definitely the number one. Dog probably coming in uh, number two. <laughs> Dog number two. Uh, deer number three. Definitely, definitely deer in third. Seeing a great big herd of uh, wild boar though going across the swamp. I was gonna, dude. I brought the bike to a stop. I swear to you, my fucking. I don't know, man. It makes animals stop, look up, and they stopped and they looked up, and I tried to come to a stop to fucking pull the camera out and. Fucking half, whatever. Only takes a second or two, dude. They were back in the bush. They were all out in the fucking waller and fucking wallering around like, God damn it. A sow and a bunch of little fucking uh, babies. But it was probably it was a whole sisterhood. You could see like three, four, five sows. A good crowd of youngins in varying ages. They've heard. Classic cat poo. Boxed one crate. Yes. That's the one I like to use. Cat poop. Nobody said, yeah, poop. Cat poop. Yes. So we, I ain't gonna lie to you. Just in in a talco when I was leaving this morning, there was a perfectly good white one on the side of the road. You can see it, it was fresh, fresh, fresh. And I, I almost grabbed it. I was like, man, I I only broke the hanger on my bucket. I didn't break the bucket, so I'm just going to fix the hanger part. I did see the piece of PVC uh, when I got to town. I left it laying there because, you know, we're going to harvest the materials. It's on the way. Didn't need to bring it with me to the room. Had to get my uh, trusty little bolt and saw out, you know, and Then I fire up the old gas stove, shape it to make hanger. And then somehow another put some top rivets in it, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. God damn, that's fucking, there was a bunch of comments just saying, I missed. Oh, that's one big roll. Okay, remember when that we could call it? Uh, Skunk? No, Jay Ray, I'm looking at that one. Remember when that's we call good weed stuck? I drove around Greensburg. On a tool, some food and donations, boxes, and some homeless uh, tried to rob me and shit talking about someone trying to jump in my damn. Talking about children of the corn dude was on some hard drugs or something. Why are you hanging out with them guys, dude? I don't fucking hang out with them people. I drove the fucking 
I go the fuck away from that dude. <laughs> uh, remember? I do remember Skip, but I don't remember. You know, that's one of the effects of the weed. It really ruins my short term memory. That's what they always said. My long term memory seems to be solid, but I'll search for a word. But I'm still having clean thoughts, you know, in that way. So obviously it's not too clouded. I just get excited and lose lose track. That's all. I have yet to have any homeless experiences with anybody. I'm a fairly unapproachable person when I'm out on the road. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, guys. I'm playing happy go lucky out here and all and smiling on the camera, but in general, I'm fairly unapproachable. Even dogs don't normally approach. I sure did try to get that cattle dog to come to me last night, man. Motherfucker, get over here. I offered him some sausage. I mean, I didn't pull it out and offer it, but I told him I'd give him some if he came over. You could use a friend at night with storming, thunder, and lightning. Big old fucking crack of thunder, lightning, clawed his ass, and he turned tail and hauled ass home. But he was back after that big break after that one. And, and I seen him moseying in the door and poking in there and looking. Uh, huh? I hear you sniffing me, dog. Where you at? Get over here. And uh, he did. Dude, and then I heard him. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a dog guy. I fucking, I heard that son of a bitch. I seen him walk past the door heading that way. Dude, that guy went back into the fucking, got some fucking fist fights. I swear to you, dude, I heard him. Got in some fist fights. Tore some asses up, ran around him up, and then fucking moseyed his own ass home back. I see him like an hour, two hours later, come fucking mosey and by it. I'm like, you son of a bitch. What the hell are you out there doing? Uh, so, yeah, that's probably most my most camping experience is, is with this whole thing. You know, I don't really uh, hang out with anybody at camp normally. That's not, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess I would if somebody approached me, but I, I don't normally approach people. I just not normally at all. I go on. It's something I try to break. I try to work on that particular one. Look here, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the YouTube. And, but yeah, I, you know, I'm working on it. I'll get better over time. Have I seen any other motorized bikes? Just the one, guys. I seen one in Milton, Florida being pushed. It was a China girl with a chain and the tires. Just reminding y'all that motherfucker had air in his tires and the chain was still hooked up. So, who knows? Out of gas, lost spark. Blew it up. Don't know. I couldn't have blown it up. He wouldn't have. Well, I guess the clutch still works then, huh? Yeah, so. Could have been walking over any number of reasons, but he had that angry face on him and he refused to make eye contact with me. So I was trying to approach one of us, but we're an angry lot. Look, listen to Raul's story right there, dude. He's like, I don't fuck around with these people, dude. I get the fuck out of here. Fuck him. Fuck them. Fuck them. I'm back for a little while. Change phone. <laughs> Mike, I'm, thanks, Jay. Thanks. I'm plugged in. I'm at 19%. I have been, uh, uh, I've been uh, chasing the charge. I, I shot that short yesterday, I think it was. Yeah, that's I started chasing the charge. But batteries are full. I have lots of full battery, but you got to keep it charged. And I've only been charging like 30% or no, I don't even think I've hit 50%. You know, I don't know why. We'll just leave the damn thing on there to charge till I get to a hundred. But I haven't been. Although I'm not running low on power. I've never got to that 20,000 milliamp battery yet. Apparently 20,000 milliamps is keeping me rolling pretty good. But I haven't gotten out west. And I do know as I go further west, services and things become, you know, harder and scarcer. Like that place to plug in and linger. 
and one hour ain't enough. I will say that. Although, how many plugs do I have on me right now? I, I have uh, one, two, three, five, six plug holes. So if I can if I can get just a plug, I can put a three pack in there, a two pack, and a one. Just you know, I just <laughs> I just want to be able to fucking plug in whatever I need to plug in when I need to plug it in. Sorry about that. I forgot. I got stone. Sorry for graphics. Why I'm uh, dizzy than norm. Uh oh. Tooth ripped out and he ate several dozen stones. Oh, oh, right. Damn, I hope you get better, dude. I don't know if it actually ever gets better, but I, I hope you find more peace in it that you that, 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 that than you're having with it at the moment. Although, if you got him out of you, does that mean feels better now, right? I mean, it does feel better now. Who do I blame for the stones? I don't know. Coca-Cola. Who knows? Fucking Jack Daniels. You never know. Fucking Anheuser Bush put him in there. It was Marlboro. Marlboro did it. Bad few days. Eek. Uh, he's like, eek, Bri. That's a good one. He's like, uh, eek. <laughs> ah. <laughs> eek. That's, a, that's the first time I've seen that pronoun used in that little, you know, sure, my eek. I was right on the money. Good use. Pronoun, no. Noun? Adjective? Adjective. Try that pronoun. Adjective. That adjective. Uh, what else was there? Uh, yeah, dude, it sucks when you break a tooth. I get rid of them, but I know not everybody can afford that, but whatever. It's well worth your money if it ever comes across your way. Uh, you get that. I mean, because that's how we got started was Christy got it, you know, through one of those services, was uh, chase one of those church bus type things down and went in there and got that three day medical and two or three different times she chased the bus down to get her, her teeth started. And then ultimately we just had all teeth removed from both of us and bought dentures. And oh my God, it's been the best freaking 20 years of my life. Sometimes, sometimes I can feel one right here, but it ain't real. But I know it ain't real. Like, it's a ghost pain. There ain't no tooth right there. I doesn't hurt at all. Stop thinking that. What about going to see the dentist? Ah, uh, done and done her. My buddy Tony, if he's still in here, but he may have already crashed out. That son of a bitch got raked on the coals with fucking teeth and stuff. God damn it, man. They fucking did the board in transplant fucking uh, pig teeth or <laughs> titanium post <laughs> big teeth. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that did not help. If your teeth was rotten, it was probably because your bones were rotten and the, the boring into a goddamn rotting bone is no better than the teeth you had stuck in it. And dentures look perfect all the time. And they're bionic. Ah, you'd lose a finger. That's all I'm saying. They're bionic. What do you think that? I'm a Augmented. I'm augmented. Ugh. 
Yeah, and they're like six horse. You know, I mean, I, at least six horsepower. Just for Leonard, just in case you know it. Uh, or buy, build some sort of sound base to break them stones down. I like that one, Leonard. I have heard of this one. I have heard of the ultrasonic. Using ultrasonic frequencies to disrupt them. Although, I mean, did it really? I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Some sort of deep penetrating. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. He has a, I bet he's looked into just about every damn thing there is. My mom would tell you to put tea tree oil on it. I don't think that's going to help. <laughs> <laughs> I ride a bumpy route, they shake out. We got to get you to the suspension, then, dude. We got to get you more suspension. You got one to see. You got you. I think you do have a, a suspended front end. It needs more travel. You're going to get to have to get more travel. Thank you, Mike. Uh, seven millimeter left and 11 millimeter right along with a crap coming out. Uh, God, let's get back to Mike. Let's see what he says. That was just rocking me again. Eat. My bike is not this, but I want to convert. Uh, front disc, Kim Scrambler. Uh, doing the front disc conversion on your motorized bicycle to disc brake is totally worth your uh, worth your while. Mostly why I'll tell you is because it doesn't get flats very often. Front tires only get about 10, 20% of flats, you know, compared to the 80%, fucking 90% the back wheel gets. So there's no contract. But put the rear disc on those. You see that I was just looking at Johnny's motor. Dude, man, not to change that back tire, dude, or to fix. Man, you got to go through some serious rigmarole and getting it all torn down and fucking it's all being dangled all off the axle bolt. Whatever. Just say I don't make it hard to fucking fix the tire. That's all. It's important to be able to fucking fix a rear flat as fast as possible. Like you should get it under five minutes, you know, get whatever your system is, figure one out where you get five to 10 minutes, fucking tear the tire off, or whatever you have to do, you know, and all those steps, you know, uh, we, some, some people would chase the flat without taking the tire off the bike. Totally doable for the right kind of flats. It doesn't work with all flats. That's all I can say about it. Uh, making sure you have a Sharpie, a marker, a piece of chalk, something you can mark things with, you know, that can be visible on the bike, uh, uh, the wheel, the tire, the tire, the wheel, uh, the tube, the tire in the tube, fucking super fucking important, a paint pen, you know, it marks rubber and tires, you can put a real honest to God mark on it, you know, you can find something and mark there so you only have to find it one time it's so important i think there's a second one in here somewhere a little little other pin i don't know yeah there probably is two pin two silver here silver silver should work really well on black rubber black tires especially if you're chasing a flat Oh, I have done changes to twice, and it seems like I'm getting the same flat over and over. Oh, who knows what's in there? But yeah, you need a marker. You gotta start marking shit. Got it. You gotta start marking shit. And find out, you know, exactly where the fuck this thing happened. But I'm not playing that game this time. I have found a wheel system that was allowing me to do that Instacart, and apparently it it is an on. Who knows what I ran over and uh, that was my town too. Going up 87 right there, still considered the bar. So, having in my own goddamn town, man. On that beautiful stretch of road. 
I don't know what the hell I had. It must have a big screw or something. Nothing was in it when I got there, but it's a damn sure made a little bullet hole and all. That too. I uh, kept going. I mean, we're, we're still on it. We're, Slimer fixed itself, and that's where we're at. It's just still slime tube. It, uh, it fixed itself. We pumped it up. We pumped it up. We pump, hey, so I'm, I haven't pumped it up again. It's, it's done pumping up. Better pump. Although that fucking uh, super duty freaking uh, 26 inch inner tube, I've only seen it at my store. I have not seen it at these other two, two or three Walmarts that I've stopped at. Mm, so I knew it. I knew it. I'm running with two slime tubes. I do have two spare slime tubes and one uh, standard tube. So I, one, two, four, five. I'm still running with five tubes. Which is kind of standard for me. I like to have at least three extra tubes. Although, did I need them? So far, I have not needed them. But will I need them? Will I need them? You ever had one of those days, man? You ever had one of those days? What about when you're chasing that black, dude? Chasing that black and go oh, flat, 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 flat. You know? I have one little thing where I said I got nine flats one day. No, I chased a flat nine separate times. It, it was unflattening, flattening, reflattening, and patching was not, you know, which I found that that I'm sure uh, most of y'all probably noticed if you put a patch on our fucking flats, you know, we uh we get our tires too hot. All of our tires are getting too hot. Even the front wheel will fucking fling its fucking patch you. It will get those little slime stickers and even our fucking glued on ones too, unless you put it on there really well and oversized. Use the biggest patch you can, you know, find or make. I make a inner tube and but make it a big patch. Yeah. Or it'll fucking, it'll get hot and uh, it'll release. Those slime sticker ones, they absolutely will release on you. You will only get another 30, 40 miles before that damn thing will have gotten so hot and it will have uh, liquefied itself. Even on the front, dude, you'll be chasing that fucking flat. Ain't that before you? Mm -mm. <laughs> Anywhere? Why? Thank you. Any? Thank you. All right. Wake up, Jerry. I'm just trying to read. Ah, uh, so where are we at? We're, uh, oh, 1044. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think I'm still in the same time zone. That's not a good sign. I should have jumped the time zone. I was hoping for a time zone in the first seven days, but I guess not. It was super overcast during the eclipse yesterday, which it turns out they did not need to give me the glasses. There was enough cloud cover that every, with every two or three, four, five, ten minute, you know, one, 10 minute, four, five, eight. enough cloud would be covering the sun. You didn't need glasses. You could see the eclipse yourself with your own naked eye, which is the way I prefer to do it because with the glasses on, it's just, you know, it's not as magical. You have to say, well, people have seen eclipse before. Yeah, they see an eclipse because, uh, you know, use a shadow box or sound cover. The shadow box. Roofing them down. Roofing now. Uh oh, Jared. I got a Jared. I seen Jared. I told him what I'm going to go for, anyways. It's easier that way. You tried the dull gin sausage gravy. Who's dull gin? Dull gin sausage gravy over ramen noodle yet. Yeah. No, I have not. No, I have not. I've, uh, um, uh, I got some, uh, soup, uh, good old soup for tomorrow. I just ate sausage and cheese again tonight. 
which I'm not, I do, I mean, I don't eat a lot of summer sausage and uh, cheese, except for on these trips, but I'm a super happy eating uh, animal protein, and uh, it make me feel the way I like. I ain't gonna lie, you know, I ain't, gonna, I ain't knocking vegetarians or whatever, but you know, it's, it's animal fats that I'm gonna be craving. My body's gonna want some fucking animal fat. Corn dog. But I was thinking about there's a smokehouse behind me. Ah, so I was thinking smokehouse sounds good tomorrow. <laughs> there's a Thai place right here beside me as well. So it's gonna be smokehouse or Thai food. One of the two. One that's gonna get the vote. So you know what I'm saying? It could be a lot of veggies and meat and a lot of meat, little veggies. Brisket. Probably some brisket. I know, I've been thinking brisket. How much equipment was lost so far? How much equipment was lost so far? Great fucking question, Leonard. Uh, we, we only lost, we've lost a derailleur. We lost a shifter cable. Things that we have left behind are lost. Nothing. Nothing. Not one item yet. Not one item yet. Uh, you sure about that, Jerry? Did you lose anything yet? No, no, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Right this second, I'm still doing good with all the items I came with except for a broken derailleur. I didn't think I came with the broken derailleur. But I'm starting to think that I left the house with the broken derailleur. There's no doubt about that. Now that I had no, uh, uh, year and, oh, damn, we got a Texas coming. Texas, bro. LOL. Eat me unless you go to the Austin, then you, you might have to deal with some vegan protesters. Oh, uh, check it out, check it out, dude. Uh, who, what's his name? Random Brian. I lived in Austin, Texas, dude. That's my. That's where I formed uh, most of Jared. It was uh, what are you, maybe twelve to. Yeah, no, let's say more like ten. Ten. To, it was about five years. We lived there about five years. Ten to like fourteen, fifteen, fourteen or fifteen. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, Austin City, uh, definitely uh, up and down. That's, that's the start of my real adventures on bicycles. Let me tell you, dude, Austin, Texas. That bus, I wasn't always going when I was riding, when I was needing it. I did a, I, I did ride a lot of city bus in that town. But, uh, I know, uh, whatever. I was a kid, dude. I was one of those kids you fucking, you, like, what the fuck's that kid doing out here? I was that kid. I don't know, dude. I was... I was going on early adventures, dude, in Austin. I'd go all the way across the north side of town and hang out at that fucking shopping mall with a skating rink, you know. You're like, ah, damn, wait, wait, yeah, dude, I don't know. Got myself over here, I'll get myself back. I've had to dig in a fountain to get me some change for the city bus. I took somebody's wish and gave it to the bus. <laughs> it all spins the same. Their wishes were already, you know, it's probably his bullshit wish anyways. Remember Goonies, you know, down there in the wishing well, stealing coins, that kind of thing. Goonies. My old lady's from Astoria, Oregon. Or born there. She ain't from there. She went there once. Uh... How many more bugs, Jared? Oh boy, guys, we are buggy as fuck right here. I'm not going to lie to you, we're still deep in the trees. And uh, ting, 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 ting. You can really hear them when they fucking hit the helmet. <laughs> ting, 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 ting. Oh, they catch me everywhere. One, oh. But uh, just one so far went down. I, I try to remember to keep my mouth shut. I ain't gonna lie, riding around with my mouth shut. Because I've rode in Florida quite a bit, dude. That fucking, 
keep your mouth shut. Then go in, keep your teeth, you know, a little wall. Otherwise, make a pass right through your lip. <laughs> it depends on how big a bug it is. A bee-sized bug, a beetle, uh, he, he, he can get in <laughs> and leave a fucking little purple circle. You're like, wow, what hit you? It's a bug. A bug. He was going 25, 30. I was going 25, 30. 50 mile an hour bug right there. The mall machines. Uh huh. That's awesome. Last week I had a bug fly in the, my nose when I was. <laughs> when I was riding, <laughs> fucking up your nose, sons of bitches, man. They're out right now, dude. I don't know exactly what my little black, uh, little triangle when he's sitting there and he got a little red stripe, little tiny little flyer. And he's got like a little hard uh, uh, carapace or whatever, you know, and I'm tink. And that's how you notice it. You're like, what the hell, you little bugger? And then next thing you know, you feel something crawling around your neck. You're like, get the hell out of here. It's <clears throat> only room for one of us in this shirt. Raul, I did get a tick already. I got the Lyme disease. It's, it's a fact. Can you see it? I got it. I got it. I know it. I got it. Jerry swallowed a spy bot by the KGB watching every move. <laughs> so maybe I swallowed a KGB spy bot. You think Putin's got those running around now? I don't even know. Damn, spy bot. I like that. That was so cute. Like it's not Mayfly season. Yeah. It is dragonfly season. No, no, no. We've already got popped by dragonfly. Somebody, it was right here. I told you about the other night. But it, you could feel them roll up. But but it's coming at you long wide. So you can't really, all you see is this doink. And, but you, the mass of it, you're like, whoa. I feel like you're about to have to use a windshield wiper to get them off. But only a split second later, he's already gone. Did he make it? That's what I wondered. Did he, was he able to pull through after that? I don't think so. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I didn't feel the wings hit my face or anything. So I don't know what it was. It felt as big as a dragon by a mayfly or, or something similar. <clears throat> oh, and I told you I had a wasp hit me right there. Thump, and then right over the shoulder. I was like, what the hell? He put this time. I had too much clothes on in that way, but... What about the jugular? You know, it was fucking right, right around the jugular. So, you know, you'll <laughs> that'll make you swerve. Oh, my old lady gets on my dude. If I get stung hard by a bee or a wasp, she don't want to hear no whining, period. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Walk it off. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> She's a real hammer when it comes to this. She won't make a pee. Won't make a fucking pee. And they'd never complain about it either. I ain't a little girl. <laughs> Are you calling me a little girl? Well, God damn it, it hurts sometimes. Uh, oh, the link. Son of a bitch, nobody ever even asked for a link. I am so sorry, guys. Oh, my God. Uh, I'll offer it here at the end. I'm so sorry. I got post a comment. I cannot pin it though, so it's only gonna be there for a little while, I guess. In that way, I don't know how long it'll stick around. I guess it creeps away. I think Raul said it'll disappear or something after a while. Ah, <sighs> but uh, I forgot about it. When there is, and, uh, I have to highlight the damn thing just to see them. When they're in season, your car would be covered. I went up here before. Yes, the mayflies. Uh, we had the uh, 
of the uh, love bug in Florida, which used to cover a car, cover the whole front end of it. They're gone now. You'd be lucky to have one on your radiator ever. Uh, I guess we uh, we terminated them. We uh, oh, Ninja, Ninja's in here. You're going to do on all chainsaw. You're going to do an all chainsaw. I'll change soon. I don't know what you mean by that. On my four stroke. I do an all change soon. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll start talking. Jump into no conversation, it looks like. <laughs> Jump into conversation. I don't know. I just seen it. I see we we still got a few folks hanging out with us, so let's let's keep hanging out. We're going till midnight, that's for sure. I got the room. I may as well, you know, use it up. I'm being nice and loud in here. <clears throat> Let's hit this bolt. Safety first. My bike went over in uh when I was uh in op uh over there by OP one uh leaning up against the uh damn it you know what I do not know the name of the bridge that goes over the Mississippi River right there and every last one of them have a name and there ain't that many of them. And uh <clears throat> fucking thing, I had it leaning against the guardrail, and somehow or another it slid down. It it didn't fall over, but it fucking slid down. Mother fucker, and I had to go over there and pick it up. And uh oh I there was one. I fucking slipped out in gravel. I was leaving out a, a steep go straight steep up, you know, curve uh to enter the, the road, the hump right there. Fucking soft ass gravel inside uh, an orange or dirt there. And uh, yeah, front end washed out out from underneath me and left me standing there holding the bike between my legs with one arm. What the fuck? Get your ass back up on two wheels. Get the hell out of here. Trying to make me look like a jackass. I can't say it actually. It did not touch the ground, but uh, it went, and you know, the whole uh, front tire wash. I bet I was only going like, you know, two or three, five mile an hour getting that little heel right there. Yeah, so almost went down in that way, but I was on my feet. I don't think you can count that. Uh, which was making me think about the derailleur. That's why I was talking about it in that way. That you know, the derailleur might have. Uh, 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 I have, you know, as far as I know, it never touched the ground. I hang my bike when I fix a wheel in some way, so the so I don't have to deal with derailleur in the dirt. And I don't have to unload the bike or anything. You know, you hang the bike and it can, it can be overstuffed and still packed, you know, and I don't have to, not have to fucking deal with any of it. I don't have a jack, a jack stand or anything that way to hold it up in the air while I'm preparing it. So, yeah, hanging it seems to be the ideal way to do it. I was watching a videos of uh, bicycle tours a long time ago. and There was a fellow there who, who was carrying a bungee cord, which he showed me hanging this loaded touring bike and I was like, that's it, man. I can do better than a bungee though. I can do better than a bungee. I can be a nice little nylon strap with the pressing on it. And, uh, it can be multi-adjustable. You know, you can do it. You can be a little better than a bungee. Although the bungee he was using was just a found on the side of the road trucker bungee. So I did have to give him credit for that too. But it works on y'all's bikes as well, you know, the motorized bicycle. You know, instead of unless you have the double kickstand, it, it can be a pain in the ass. Which is also something that I've noticed that leads y'all to do the walk of shame instead of fucking fist fighting it there on the side of the road. Uh, uh fixing the rear flat is uh EO walk of shame. And uh uh and Jared is gonna do the goddamn fixo flat. Uh, before we walk away from right here and there's a tree sign fence i've fixed flats in arizona there is somewhere to hang your bike there's a street sign road sign nearby pole some <laughs> whatever or like mike said fucking call someone just get him get over there and fucking pick your ass up god damn it now the real walk of shame i already did that one twice in Freaking four wall, and I went right through that rim. 
a fucking whole sidewall just flaked off from uh, brake rubbing it or something. I don't know. Might have. Obviously, it had to be that. I mean, that had to be brake rub, brake pad rubbing on that uh, on the original wheels that came on that hyper uh, huffy hyper from fucking Walmart. But I mean, I just brakes. I think it was just ultra thin, fucking cheap, super cheap uh, braking services on the uh, on the wheel. Period. On the wheel, the rear wheel I have on there right now is a double wall. 36 foot, 14 gauge, uh, and it has that uh, braking surface, you know, on, an actual braking surface, grooved braking surface for uh, whatever. It's a real goddamn surface. So, probably not going to wear through it for a few tens of thousands of miles. I live in Colleen, Texas. You'll never catch him. Uh, uh, where are we at? Oh, what part of Texas? I don't know. I missed it. Missed it. Yeah. I'm moving. Maybe one of them are moving. I don't know. Uh, there was a point today when I would have, uh, if somebody would have stopped in their pickup truck and said, you want to ride? Oh, I would have got in that goddamn truck in a heartbeat and left my gear in the rain to ride. <laughs> I told myself out there in that store that, oh, no, man, somebody pulls over and says, you want to ride? We get in. <laughs> uh, they did not. <laughs> but in Texas, it has happened a few times. You know, good old boy come rolling up. Hey, man, you fucking need a ride or something? I would say, yeah. Uh-oh, here we go. We tacoed out those cheap Walmart rims, and they're my rag joint sprocket adapters. Yep. No, I could not say enough bad about that. That uh, The rim rim, you know, just, just the rim, not, you know, not to knock, you know, the, the hub and the, spot and the spokes and everything else with it, but, you know, just the rim. Yeah, it's very low quality. A ridge. There was a ridge on that fucking rim, you know, where they brought the two uh, rounds together. Or not two rounds, but, the, you know, the round. They rolled it and then cut it to be precise. Doom. And then they, they uh, you would think robot welded it, but uh, apparently there's some old little guy who likes to just hit the, hit a couple spots, you know. Even, uneven, eh, we're close. We'll buff it out. <laughs> we'll give it a turning. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, get, we'll, have, we'll have it turned but they don't so I do I did but, uh, when I first got it uh, unmount the fucking tires and all and fucking sand those fucking ridges off of it and on the inside there where it was no sharp fucking edge but yeah but it was part of the $148 so I, I forgot to use them up until they fell apart Little did I know that Chrissy was gonna have to give me a rescue ride on that one, and uh, she fucking hates rescue rides. Me, I mean, she fucking hates it, and I have to pay it back too, dude. I ain't gonna lie, you know. It comes with, uh, oh, you know, I did that for you, and now I don't see why you can't. <laughs> Something big too. The workload seems to always be off offset. Stop buying Chinese, Chinese dumbasses. You want quality, quality. <laughs> Maybe a little loud. It, it is after ten. It is after ten. Ah, oh, I don't know who's in here. Did I miss him just then? Uh, raw, raw. Oh, 
I don't know. He did make it in here. He, she, I'm not sure. I looks like using a male emoji looking thingy. I can't really see it though. I see I see a face in there. I see a face. Uh uh. I once blew a spoke or about forty when I hit a tiny almost invisible dip on video you can here it's snap ring the rim. Tink. Oh, you can hear it uh, on my uh, last trip. Thanks a lot. Dude, I've had some real motherfucking bad first days on the trips. And uh, on my last trip, dude, I fucking have left Navarre, uh, broke down right, right at my buddy Kevin's house above by Edgewood. Fucking right there in the goddamn bush, dude. I am fucking hanging the bike. But. All right, whatever. You can't leave without catching a flag. You know, right, so I got the flag. All right, it, the fucking pump don't work. Oh, what? Yeah, no, the fucking pump don't work. I don't have an air pump on me. I was the one I thought it was going to, I wasn't going to need a bunch of pumps on me. I have two pumps on me right now. Uh, so I didn't have two pumps on me. And uh, had to call Christy, stop by Walmart, give him an air pump, and bring it out to me. Get that sorted. The head out. And somehow or another, the fucking chain jumps. It's a derailleur moment. Uh, overshifted. Uh, obviously, the limit screw wasn't set correctly. And the chain jumped into the fucking drive side, uh, into the spoke side, and broke four spokes fucking immediately. And I mean, goddamn, immediately. Ching, 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 ching. You're like, whoa. And I came to a stop, and they were just freaking flopping there. And the wheel was 80% mm, still around. And uh, went over fucking Pensacola Bridge, which is a big bridge, and uh, got on the other side, went to the Trek store, and bought a, a, a Bond Trigger uh, rear wheel. 100 bucks. Boom. Cost 100 bucks just to leave fucking town. Just to get out of goddamn town. And this is not the worst of me. I've got uh, on this trip out. I only paid a dollar two. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't even fucking. Yeah, I got out of town without spinning up. Fucking pile of money somehow or another. And, uh, I am proud of that fact. At least I've learned how to leave. Which has taken a while. Off roading messes with the limits group. Yep. Yeah, that was that was exactly my thought on it, dude. Uh but up until that moment, I had not, I had not obviously thought about it. I don't know, just one of those moments. I just twisted hard on the on the twist, and uh, it jumped, it jumped right into there, and we're moving right along at like twenty five, and the fucking chain is in there, <laughs> and uh, it didn't lock up the rear wheel, but it, yeah, but it didn't, but it did, it kept trying. Kept trying, <laughs> but it did. It kept trying to lock that rear wheel up, but it couldn't catch nothing stiff enough. <laughs> it kept finding the spoke and snapping it because it beat all of them up. All of them got beat up, but four of them broke. Not messing with the uh, folks. Gotta go hand, and you know it. Gotta go hard. <laughs> oh, boom, boom, boom. Ah! You know it. I can't deny that. That happened today, Skip. Uh, I had the plastic chain guard on there. It got destroyed. So it tried to jump inside there. It did. When that fucking derailleur started hanging, dude, it tried to find an all-new place to hang out. And that plastic guard saved me. But it shattered it. It's completely destroyed. 
utterly and totally there's just a little piece of plastic a little piece of triangle still hanging out with the, with the free will which i think i might have brought the free will tool i doubt i doubt i brought it back but how am i gonna fucking get a free will wrench and all on there but but i might have have it on me i don't think i have it on me so so that little chunk of piece of uh free will guard uh chain guard uh the overshift guard <clears throat> is still on there and i yeah whatever i was shifting down though when it uh on the fucking not i don't know everything just went fucking down yeah into a lower no a higher yeah lower a higher i was going into a higher gear or i think i was i don't, I don't know i think there they go. Well, there you go. I thought it lost a wheel. In the middle of nowhere. I mean, middle of fucking nowhere. Horses on both sides of the road. Yep. Ride a horse. Save the cowboy. Get caught rustling a horse just to get to town. <laughs> One horsepower. I carry three emergency space links always. Yes. Yes, well, I should. I'll have it in my hand tomorrow. Uh, hey, Jared, uh, they sell the metal dork disc pie plates. You two invest in one. Those metal dork disc pie plates. That's what the one I'm talking about, dude. That's what I'm talking about. It uh, jumped uh, the one in the middle of me ending today, though, know, was, <clears throat> yeah, it chain touched it or something and ate it up. I will admit that it was all crackled you know it had that orange crackled this to it this rim did not come with it i took it off the shitty little uh uh rim that i was uh that came on the bike because i i changed this into to another wheel but when i put the free wheel on it i uh i was like no nah, give me that plastic disc that little dork disc and uh <laughs> screwed my free wheel on so that uh saved me i guess i mean there there was that moment where i could have lost my wheel it saved me it won't do it a second time now <laughs> it was done the first so you only get to make the mistake once and i won't make it again certainly not on a trip believe it it's gonna be fun enjoy share Educate. <laughs> ride a bull. I like the ride a bull. I don't have uh, Yeah, no, I'm uh, uh, All right, well. Where are we at now? See, a lot more is happening than I even thought. This is better than the phone call with my old lady, guys. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. But uh, when I would talk, I, I can't, you know, the length of the phone call would never be this long where I can uh, start to remember. You know, you get it, it's all lost in your head. You just, uh, I forgot that that happened. Yeah, no, I totally forgot. How could you forget something like that happened? I don't know. You forget things happen, dude. You keep trying to move on, and that gets in the back list real far back or too far back to remember. All right, that is what I normally do. But because I was, it was raining and it was a friction drive and it was actually raining, I was having a problem with friction. So I'm forced to pedal the fucking bicycle like a bicycle and let the motor do the follow through when I give the initial torque. And uh, 
Yeah, I was pedaling. I was spinning. I think it's what they call that spinning. It, you know, it's what it probably looks like. You know, I, I was spinning away, and uh, but I was, you know, I was getting, I was getting greedy, right? I was getting, I was like, more. Okay, I feel me. We can, I can keep up on that. I keep up better if I was in another. Yeah, if my like cadence is too high, I need to lower the cadence, shift it. Oh, there it was. Chunk, 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 chunk. chunk. And I don't know what the fucking thing was because earlier when I was starting the bike, I heard some chunk chunk thing and like it just jumped fucking gears. And uh, I don't know that if I had checked it, it would have made a difference. I mean, this came off of it, came off. So I don't think there was anything I could have done had it locked it in. It was, it was flop, fucking thing was flop. Boy, probably sick. By uh, the chain up. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do tomorrow, Fry. Fry the bike guy. Here's my plan. Because you were here late. So I'm going to go to Walmart. I'm going to get the uh, chain breaker. I do not have my chain breaker on me either. I'm going to grab a chain breaker from Walmart. It comes with the master link. I'm just going to size it down to a uh, one one speed, you know, as close as I can get with as little as slack as possible. I do not have an adjustable fucking rear end. It is a, you know, a, a set rear end. Uh, dropouts, my dropouts are, uh, you know, are set. There's no uh, no adjustment in that in that way. So I will look for some sort of low gearing uh, with uh, whatever. You know what I mean? I will break the chain, make it one drive. Even if change a little sloppy, I only need two pedals. Actually, from now on, I don't. I'm not going to try this attempt to fucking pedal the goddamn thing again. That was bad business in the first fucking place. Let's be honest. So, yeah, I'm going to go for a direct drive on it. You know, that is that is the plan. That is. The plan. Is there something else that I, I will look for a derailleur in town? I, I don't really know where I could look other than to go to Walmart, buy a bike, take it off and try to fucking return the bike or something. I don't know. That didn't seem reasonable. So thrift store, some sort of thrift store may still be an option somewhere in town that, you know, has e old pile of junk bike. Maybe in pile of junk bike, there is a, uh, I need a, I need a, a, a hard mount derailleur though. Not, not the, uh, not the cheap fucking Walmart derailleur that will not bolt on my goddamn bike. Fixed position, what is it? No, what's it called? Uh, whatever. I have a derailleur hanger instead of a, uh, instead of that bolt hole. Just got a nut. And bolt to a line with washers. Get a half link. Yes, yeah, so thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Skip Force. Half link is going to be freaking, that's going to be the key. I do, from uh, the cable job, from the Walmart cable job, have two pair of pliers on me right now. If if it ha comes down to it, I know how to bend a single link into a half link. And uh, Oh, but I would still need to drill out the goddamn link, though, don't I? Oh. Yeah, half link, Harbor Freight. Not Harbor Freight, but a tractor supply. Tractor supply carries half links. In a variety of sizes, there probably a, there might be a fucking one in there. Wouldn't know. Would go by there though if that was come down to a half link. Half link is going to be the yeah. That's probably going to be the bane, dude. I'm praying, but there should be a some combo where I get enough chain alignment to to stay in gear. I'm hoping to drop it in the on the three up front, drop it to the small one so that way it's as far over to the left as I can get it. Because I like to be able to start easy on a hill, right? You come to a red light or something, you stop on a goddamn hill, you want to be able to just push down in it. Blah, 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 blah. Oh. 
Oh, but I could even stop by somewhere and have, you know, maybe borrow a drill. It was my fault. Buy a drill, use a drill, return the drill. That was also my fault. Uh, I wasn't against that thought either. You know, piece of tea. I was hit it hard already. It turned out the Dollar General store was even closer than uh, even Google had said because uh, I was on foot, dude, and on foot, I didn't go down the road. I cut through, cut through, cut through, cut through, cut through. Look, we're right at the goddamn fucking Dollar General store. Shit, that was close. It said it was a six minute walk, and maybe I did it in three minutes. Always oh, starting to get ice crystals, even better. What was that? What was that? What was that? God damn, Mike. No, no, sir. Wrong about that. No, no, it's not. Uh, the, the, the rear end there is all one piece. Up the crank, model track and all. So, no, it does not change. That measurement never changes. Oh, you had me there. I'm like, oh my God, you're right. Totally fucking right, man. Every time it bounces, it's going to change. Oh, uh, no, no. It's at the right point. Damn, heavy worry there, dude. I ain't going to lie. Once ordered ship from Amazon at 1 a.m. and a hurricane arrived before 9 same morning. I know, but when I checked Amazon, they said Sunday. That's what it was saying, Sunday. That is what it was saying. Well, I went after a priority, uh, all the priority stuff. I did not get to get to try to finish an order to see what priority access that they would give me. It is the size of item that fits in a priority envelope, though. So there's a chance I, I could have it overnighted, which is still two or three days or two days. Although I will be here tomorrow. So if I ordered it tomorrow, overnighted, uh, after checkout, I could go hunt it down in town. I will probably have a solution worked out by tomorrow, though. There's almost no chance I won't solve a fucking rear derailleur on a Walmart bike by tomorrow. Just got to put my head to it. It will be fucking storming all day long, though. I will tell you that. I'm fucking gonna, it's not going to be friendly. I'm going to grab that umbrella and get my feet wet and get to walking around town and go find me some places to... <sighs> It, uh, the Walmart was uh, three miles. It said three miles. So one hour, one hour walk, maybe it's 45 minutes, you know, because you want to get there. Or I Uber that motherfucker. That was my thought, too. No, I just have an Uber come grab me. Maybe I'll walk back. So get a list and strategic, although on a walk, on a walk, you see things, you see things. 
gives you a chance to study and think on and let the road uh, start to provide if it's going to fucking provide. It has a chance, though. Although well, I've never seen somebody do rather laying on the ground. But it, there could be a first, man. Yeah, I was walking to Walmart, man, and motherfucker, the derailleur laying on the ground. Or I was walking to Walmart, and there was some guys leaving bike clean enough there, and I, you know, I just snatched the derailleur off of it before I left. <laughs> or I see a junk pile of bikes, and I approach somebody about the yield junk pile of bikes. Yes, I ain't afraid to do that. That's what it's hope. Hoping to see a junk pile of bikes. They ain't hard to find. There's a goddamn junk pile of bikes in this goddamn town. Fact. Uh oh, Cecilia is going to bed, maybe, or something. I don't know. Uh, Brian the Bike Guy. I've been missing him. Uh, have to go. Good night, evening. Ride safe, Jared. Thank you, Cecilia. And have a good evening. We really appreciate you hanging out with us. <clears throat> Very good, guys. Right the bike guy, help me. I get gold bike on to help. Help me get a good bike. Yeah, we do have the Walmart, dude. We got Super Walmart here. Oh. So. I always just walk in there and walk out the door with another Walmart bike. That is an option. We didn't buy this bike. I picked it up off the fucking ground on the side of the road. So, I mean, if I end up having to buy a bicycle, I didn't buy one in the first place. So, I left room. <laughs> left margin of error like the whole fucking bicycle <clears throat> would we hate to lose our front disc yeah we would but you know we ain't all that depressed stop talking like that i'm not fucking buying another goddamn bike tomorrow i hope i don't buy another bike tomorrow we still end up need to put a few screws in though here and there and that one might need a drill but I bet if I stop by a muffler shop or, or a tire shop, you know, let me borrow a drill for fucking just a minute, dude, putting these two screws, you know, 5 16 bit. That's a totally doable thing. Tighten everything. Yeah. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> you don't think I'll find a pile of bikes? Me neither. Me neither, ain't gonna lie. I'm thinking the single chain fix and hit a bike shop in a, in a major city, the nearer one that I come to. Or make bike shop, you know, put a search in and head for the city where bike shop is available. There is not one in this town. There is one 35 miles or something uh, west of here, due west. And uh, that was sounding kind of interesting you know, appealing to me because the winds are going to be out of the Northwest on Thursday at 25 miles an hour. So I was thinking, you know, I'll do a lot of Westing on, uh, on Thursday to keep that off my face. And, uh, just so happens when I was, did the quick search earlier that, uh, there's a bike shop <laughs> 25 miles out there. And, it, and, and it, you know, Google put a little comment on it. It says, I had these guys assemble a few BMX bikes I bought. So, yeah, it's a bike shop. I was surprised it had a review comment under it. I mean, I had never seen that on somebody's. Yeah, like it, it, it smelled like fish in here. Okay, I want to read that one. Bike shop. I said, the dumb as I said. I 
Good night, Skip. Yep, yeah, I'm going to hang for the next 30. But yeah, I'm going to go to midnight. And uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to leave it. <clears throat> Smoke a few more cigarettes. But good night, Skip. You have a good evening. Uh, thanks for posting your, your flight videos. Uh, I noticed that you had quite a few comments on there. And it's and you get quite a few views for your damn fucking builds. And uh, I like that. I did. I was, I was proud of that. And you're like, yeah, oh, no, I told Christy about it. Like, no, oh, yeah, but his damn fucking Sparky builds and all, dude. He's got a lot of people checking that stuff out, dude. Apparently, a few of them fucking went damn near viral. So, thanks for the content. Uh, I skip happy flights. Great back in the movie. <laughs> Chrissy said that though. She said, Oh no, what about your chain smoking during a live? I forgot about it, you know. I fucking forgot about it. I do smoke my cigarettes when I'm doing a fucking live. I should smoke my weed. But I smoke a lot of cigarettes. And I got more actually probably weed than cigarettes. That's a lot. I got a pound of tobacco. Resources. So my resources are tobacco or weed. And Chris, I'm probably not coming back until I'm at least low on one or the other. I just say no to Clip. What the hell did that say? Just say no to Sigs. Get out of here. I freaking love these things. That's what makes life worth living. I got one of these. I found it on the side of the road in front of my house. Tastes fucking weird. I ain't into it. But I've hit it a couple of times on the bicycle. You know, you're rolling around for about an hour and you fucking, you know, a little tobacco. My pen, I also went my pen with my own with my own mix. Oh, you'd probably be interested in uh <laughs> Eric, is, uh, I got my own RS7 there. I think it's what everybody calls it. ISO watch is what we used to call it. But yeah, I have my own pen. So I, you know, I get hit that pen and I'm like, man, I don't want a little taste of tobacco. I'm not coming to stop to smoke a cigarette. Uh, that, it's just a fucking light a damn cigarette. I really just smoking too, because, you know, the damn wind just eat your cigarette to nothing in just a few moments. So, uh, yeah, I'm taking a couple of puffs off of that thing. Probably going to give me the old vapo lung or something. Uh, <laughs> but. <laughs> the old vapo lung. Ah, uh, thank you. Something about it don't taste right, dude. Ignore the tobacco. It's, dude. What does that say? Huh? Hundred percent healthy, dude. It's the good stuff. I don't smoke shit. I smoke the good stuff. By the pound. We either buy ten or twenty pounds at a time. We buy a lot. Like we're not gonna quit. We're not quitters. I know I can still taste that fucking bake in my mouth, though. I can tell you that. I can still fucking taste that bake. Whatever is in that thing is it's got some uh I don't know. 
it tastes tastes like a cigar, tobacco, uh, maybe in a pipe, you know, kind of. I don't know. I don't know what that fucking flavor is, but you know, maybe it's nicotine. Maybe it's just all nicotine that I'm tasting. What was that? Burke? Burke? They said this product would kill it. And, and then it's got all that, you know, and yeah. And it turns out if you look around on the planet, guys, go ahead. I'll wait. Yeah, there's just a few. That's it. And there's only a couple. There's only a couple, dude. There's only a couple. And there's a whole ream of fucking drugs and shit that'll fucking little sin you can get off on it. No, it turns out it's just a fucking real small little window. Weed, tobacco, opium, cocaine. <laughs> All the good food is at the grocery store already for the whole world. That's a whole fucking world 24 7 with John Deere back in it, Monsanto's helping. That's what's, yeah. Yeah, you have the most groceries of any person, any king, any time ever. And that's it. What's the negotiation? That's it, dude. That's all of them. That's all the fruit. That's all the veggies. That's all the ones we call delicious or palatable. There's lots of edible, but edible does not mean palatable. Same with the drugs. There's just a few. It's just a few. And tobacco is one of them. And uh, yeah. So I'm going to enjoy just a few good things. There's only just a few good things. It's the thing that killed him. Oh my God, he died from one of the good things? That's all I'm saying. I mean, but it's probably not going to be the thing that killed me. And I can't die young now. So that's official. It was official January 5th. Jared cannot die young. Uh, what else was there? I'll be at random here. Let me hear what it's here. I just replaced my 100 cc from sleeves with a Phantom 85. I really didn't want to. I love that engine, but it's fucked up. On the inside. Mm. <laughs> let's, let's do what he's talking about. I haven't taken it apart yet, but think something busted loose in there. Uh oh. Duck bird. Dude, bird. Yeah, that falls in animals too. There's only just a few animals. You'd be surprised. We don't eat everything. We just eat a few that grow fat. Just a few. You know what? And only a few grow fat. Just a few. But I did hear a guy in a movie once say he could milk a cat. Good, good comment, right? I was thinking about you on a hill yesterday, dude. I was totally fucking thinking about you on a hill. I ain't gonna lie. I think about you on fucking hills every time, dude. 110 and a 56. And I'm like, yeah, no, 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 dude. You can accelerate. You know, you go up any fucking hill and still accelerate. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get out of my way. You know, you know, still got to get out of my way in it. Or get out of the way. That's what I'm mean. Get out of the way. I was, uh, yeah. Still has a lot. So I was climbing the hill and it was a steep motherfucking hill. And I'm like, yeah, I think he's the only one that I that I've seen <laughs> you know, doing any kind of, you know, 
on my way home, on my way around, I got to climb a goddamn hill. And that one leads to another hill. And the worst thing about downhill, just the further, and I'm telling you, the further you go downhill, the bigger the goddamn hill ahead of you is. So I hate long downhills. I like that 110, the uh, the uh, uh, Johnny's motorized bike, I believe, is always a uh, promote the 110 that way. Uh, is it one? Yeah, the 110. Yeah, I think I'm right. Yeah, the iron board for his day at least. It's for his day at least. Always what he's saying. He's like, for my day at least. Where are we at? It's eleven forty, huh? Nah, damn, keep on talking, Jerry. <clears throat> I know. I feel like I want a snack now, though. <laughs> yeah, dude. <I do. laughs> I'm like a hundred feet over there. It seems like you're a long ways away. I'm not gonna light a cigarette, though. I'm gonna hold off for a few minutes. Hmm. Anything else happened in the woods or something? Any animal spookiness yet? Uh, yeah, I've had no little creepy crawlers, no skunks or raccoons come through camp yet that I've seen. Uh, come on, Jerry, something. I can tell you about sleeping in that walk-in cooler real quick. <laughs> so I'm uh, looking all over that fucking burned-out building for a corner I can hang my goddamn hammock from. But those freaking walls inside that place were so goddamn flimsy, fucking shit metal fucking framing. And after it lost its ceilings and they didn't brace the goddamn standing walls to the fucking uh, joist above. So the fucking walls were all free floating with acoustic ceiling between. And dude, every wall I tugged on it, like, nah, I ripped that goddamn set right out of the goddamn wall. Ripped half the fucking wall down, trying to put it. Try to put my weight on that hammy. And uh, fucking shit, I cannot deny. So I fucking go, went in that walk in cooler and uh, cleaned it out. Found these, you know, you got, you got an old, uh, you know, a VCD tile floor, you know, and they polish it all the time. And there was these stacks of fucking pads for fucking, uh, well, it's cursing, for, for, for polishing the floor, the buffered pads. Uh, but but you know the the Brillo what the Brillo pads for, for cleaning the floor more more than buffing it, and uh, there was a whole stack of them, man, and they, they were kind of strode about a little bit, and I gathered them all up, and I went in that goddamn fucking walk-in cooler because I did not bring my fucking air mat, and this I mean I totally fucking regret that, and I took all those mats there, dude, and made three layer thick uh, uh mattress. Took my uh, tarp, laid my tarp on top of it, used the tarp as a sleeping bag, you know, a cowboy camp in the tarp. It's just a blanket camp. And uh, <laughs> then, uh, then you just blanket roll right here for the old pillow. And shit, I went sleeping. Bam. Oh, and I took a piece of pegboard. So I propped open the fucking uh, walk in cooler door. I went with a big brick. <laughs> I know, you know, and I, ain't no way this thing's closing on me while I'm in here. You know, you little, you little, and uh, took a piece of pegboard that was leaning against the wall and uh, set it up as a as a doorway, um, a mouse proof door in front of me to keep any rats or mice or anybody fucking running in there while I'm fucking laying on the ground like a savage. Because I, one of the bigger reasons I don't fucking like laying on the ground, man, but you get down there with the damn ants and scorpions and the rats and the mice and. Yeah, you, when you hang in the hammock, you're like, no, 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 this is me, man. Yeah, this, yep, 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 yep. They got to be at a tight wire that, you know, <laughs> get in there or whatever. Yeah, so I slept on the ground like a dog. <sighs> and then I fell asleep, too. Boom, I was out. Bro, oh, there is a cat outside. 
<laughs> there is a cat outside. Well, I don't know. Do you think there's a cat outside? There's a cat outside. <laughs> I take it. Uh, I don't know. It's in the house. In the house. <laughs> The call is coming from inside the house. Have you checked the children? Have you checked the children? <clears throat> it's been a while since I've seen something like that. Chrissy loves those type of movies. When I was a kid, I worked at the pizza burger place I used to make uh, with this fat chick and the walk-in freezer. <laughs> I know I read it slow because I'm blind as a goddamn bat with glasses on, but uh, yeah, that was cute. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hmm. I was uh, working at a restaurant where you made the salads in the walk in. You know, so anyway, you know, keep them crisp. A nice fancy steakhouse and uh, fiddlesticks in Ocala, Florida. Probably not still there, but never know. I'd never been back. They canned me because they found out I wasn't old enough. I got fired quite a few times for not being old enough. I just write down 18. That's what they wanted to read. That's what I'd write down. The next thing you know, hmm. They'd find out I wasn't. You know how to write the next one? 18. Oh, clutch speed, hard hits. Oh, Mike Miller, what do we have? Are you going to do it live tomorrow? Do a live tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, it was just a regular one, but doing it, doing it vertical and that's about it. I don't know, maybe a short one, but I should have some build progress. So that's what I was kind of hoping it might be random in the day in that way. Whenever uh, it won't be super random, I'll put a community post or something up beforehand. Uh, I should have been doing that more often. There was, it's, uh, it's simple to do. How many miles now, Uncle Jared? Two tatted D's. Oh, what's up, brother? Uh, how many miles now? Not not as far as we'd like. Uh, we 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 held up in a, in the uh, hotel room here, in uh, in a mansion, the Motel Eight. In the Motel Eight, where are we at? Mount Pleasant, Texas. We actually did some southing today, fifteen miles, which makes me feel like we lost from yesterday. Our yeah, yesterday's uh, one fifty six. So I guess I subtracted, but I I done 156 like that, but I, I did do some 15 south and that happens to the best of us. I made it to a hotel room. I've been here for uh, two days straight. I will fix my bike up and uh, get myself back up on the road. It's a, it's still an adventure. I, I, I do have 30 days. I, I'm trying to make it to Washington, but first I'm trying to make it to Evanston, Wyoming, and we can see how the, the trip goes from there. But as it goes, I, I'm feeling confident that uh, I won't quit easily. I can always get on the fucking bus. And... No, I'm probably not going to get on the bus. I'm going to try desperately hard not to get on. I'll try to take a train or a plane. And if I have to leave with that, all that, I, it will get left behind. Like a bad habit. Grab the saddlebags and roll out. And the sausage roll. My sausage roll kept everything dry. My dry bag kept everything dry. And the uh, green bag, I checked. It had some damp stuff, but had not that was it. it kept it dry. I was curious. That's why it all got ripped out. I wanted to find out what was clean, what was dry. Oh, did that make me smoke more? Oh, I did light another one. God, I love these things. Dude, this is good stuff. You ought to try some of it. If you had my sweet tea, you'd be like, oh my God, Jared, 
I see what you're saying. This is good tea. That's good tea. These things taste like marble. This, when I was a kid, dude, I hunted and hunted and hunted for tobacco that would taste like marble. And uh, it took a long fucking hard tried and tasted and ordered and yeah, yeah, yeah. These taste like fucking marbles 25 years ago. As far as I can tell, just like it. And I want a vape. I want one of these fucking vapes, you know, that has the same flavor. That's not going to happen. All right, that's not going to happen. They'd have to remember what they taste like 25 years ago. Because everything now, you taste it has a fire safe and all in it. And you're like, that's not, no, how can y'all tolerate still smoking that? That It doesn't taste like it did. And you're still stuck on that brand. It doesn't make any sense. You shouldn't, you shouldn't even still be smoking that. It doesn't taste like it used to. No words for taste, I guess. Good night, uh, Mike Miller. I'm glad that you came and hung out with us. If you'd like to hang out with us tomorrow, we'll certainly be doing a live tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, we're going to keep doing it. We're going to keep this up. I know one was only six minutes long. Hey, but I got one off. It was a sketchy, sketchy, sketchy one. Good percent. Oh. Just have to find a vape flavor that you can stand. Yeah, well, my brother Stacy gave it the run. Apparently, he tried, 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 and he's still vaping, but he's also smoking and vaping now. Which I find even more exotic. Yeah, and my buddy Colby is doing the same thing. He was smoking and vaping. You're in power. But he didn't leave early. He left right on time. Oh, that was a dink because we got an update. Somebody uploaded something. What oh, was it? DNS two strokes has uploaded something. Roger Stafford should wake. Oh, that was later. That was all this was later. Oh my God. Nice. We're riding again. Want to ride bikes. Well, good evening, sir. If you hang out and you watch on us, and uh, I always did like you. Uh, also need an adjustable mod. Yeah. Yeah, that is what I have for my pen as an adjustable mod style. Oh. But this style. <laughs> Mineral oil and uh and my own watch. But I don't know if that's what you meant by that. It's adjustable, you have different heat settings, different, you know, and then uh so I got different air. I don't know. I don't know all the different mods. Get a good burner. Yeah, no vaping killed my lung cigs are way better. Uh oh. <clears throat> what? Tobacco's making a comeback. Go tobacco. I tell you, you know, monetize it. <laughs> oh, everything's less of a sin than those words. May as well have been promoting Nipsey Nile. How we get the nicotine you want? Uh, what else was there? Uh, uh, we broke down, Casey, just in case you're just showing up, brother, or Sean. But 
this don't belong in my hand. It goes on the bike, but it's in my hand and we broke down, baby. We're broke down mechanical issues. It'll make for a fun day tomorrow trying to solve the mechanical issues. And I can't leave it to think about Uber till earlier that I, I was telling myself how I was going to walk. Ooh, seems less likely now for some reason. All of a sudden, it got me with me. <laughs> I've been thinking that since I've been talking. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. There's, there, there's, there's other ride options in town here, I bet, to do some in-town chopping. Like I said, maybe a ride there, and, you know, wander my way around back. But at minimum, I'm just gonna run by uh, Walmart, and grab chain breaker. Hopefully, this will be sufficient to get a, a, a single run chain till I make it to a city big enough that I can buy a bike shop, you know, and get a derailleur. We should be available at a bike shop. I should probably call around for that tomorrow as well, so I know more of a definite deck of direction that I'll be leaving on Thursday. What else have I missed? I can do the old thank and name thing. <laughs> uh, random, you need a bait system that can. Oh, we need you to work correct. <clears throat> That's a good one. That's what I noticed. And those very long, solid, hard pulls that they, people are putting on them. You know, obviously they're trying to get that little bit of an OD out of it. It's a thickness, deepness in that in that way. And then they'll, yeah, use propyl glycol to you know create this this mist, which is, you know, it's not food safe, man. Right on top, you're like, oh, yeah, it's not food. I know tobacco, man. Tobacco fucking actually is food safe, motherfucker. Yeah, it'll make you sick if you eat it. Now, you know, if you don't normally eat it, but people who chew, you know, no, it's not a thing. And that's why mineral, right? That's food safe. You can ingest it on the inside, the outside, and apparently smoke it too. Smooth. Ends up tasting like a hash. But then people flavor the hash too. And you're like, what? You put that vapor fucking juice shit in the goddamn hash? Are you fucking... Yeah, man, I'm putting terpenes in here. What the fuck you mean, purple kush, bitches? I mean, pineapple kush, and then and, and tangerine, and tangelo, and... Oh, uh, come on, Colby, dude. You're gonna... Fucking kill yourself and do shit. Took a while still to drop the six. Yeah, I know. I hate it for you. Sorry. That didn't happen. <clears throat> Did you know you can buy it by the pound online? Unprocessed, like I do? You probably economical? Uh, yeah, I pay about 70 cents a pack. Although I do roll them myself. But goddamn, I mean, that's still like 19 fucking 70. Buy in bulk. Buy in bulk, like you're not going to quit. And damn, you can really lower the goddamn cost of cigarettes. Damn. Once again, I'm talking about it. Motherfucker's got me on a cigarette conversation, poor guys. Look at that. That's definitely not part of it. But I said what my uh, materials were, and that was one of them. You know, oh, just for Eric, real quick. The big value pack of the big 18 hour patches. Haven't had to use them yet, but I got one on me. <laughs> what is it? 10 of them in there. 180 hours of heat. <clears throat> Dragging that fucking thing around, dude. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> but I, I expect it to get cold. 
that's that's one of my cold strategies. Storm tactics. Who is this? Oh my goodness. Miles who? Westwood. I thought this was a Westwood. David Westwood. Mr. Westwood. I like it. Looks good. You don't have to keep doing that. Tuned in for the live and then fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> David, I'm glad that you hung out with us for what little bit. Yes, we were in the live. Thanks to David Westwood and to Eric Tennant and Ride the Bike Guy, uh, Leonard Arola, Tony Frosch, my nephew Casey, uh, my old lady Christy. <laughs> Just throwing her in there, anyways. Uh, who else was in the room with us tonight? Cecilia Ann, Opie Wanzilla. Kevin Shaw, uh, Tanboy Industries, Drone Days, uh, 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 Just Another Motorized Bike Channel, Mr. Flex, Paul Gale, Thunder. Who else? Little Evil, Bike Was 45. I don't care if they watch or not. I'm fucking, I'm throwing them in there anyways every time I can. Who else was that? DNS, Two Stroke Motorized Bicycles, Dave Stuff. Check both of those guys out. Uh, they're growing. <laughs> Dave Stuff posted one, guys. He did post a drag bike uh, fire up. Holy shit, that thing goes a, a lot of motor. Uh, Give me another day. Fucking stoner. I get lost sometimes. Motorized Andrew and everybody else out there. Mike Miller. Did I miss Mike Miller just then? I, I don't know. I might have said it twice. <laughs> uh, oh, ERT. Uh, Espinosa. Uh, um. Uh, Ricardo Franco, I can't remember Espinosa's uh, a first name right now. Uh, and then, uh, I don't know, Raul Duke. I gotta forget them. Let me see uh, who else we got. Yeah, can I don't fucking draw a blank. Thanks for hanging out with me. I will definitely do a small live tomorrow, you know. Tattoo D's. I wanted mail. What would he got? Gonna give me a little troll. Cool. I'll give y'all a call tomorrow. I got some time. Uh, we can hang out on the old uh, FaceTime or whatever it's called. Good night, guys. <laughs>